Team Hayes. Our parents told us it was just a phase. Uh -huh. Mom and Dad, we hate to burst your bubble. As long as we're in school, we're gonna get in trouble. It doesn't matter what we do or say. Cause the teachers always get their way. When we try to sit and pay attention. We always lose control and wind up in detention. Detention, uh oh. We're running in the halls now, we're running on the walls now. Detention, uh oh. We follow regulations, at least until a graduation. doing here? Emmett! Emmett! Are you okay? <gasps> so where were you this time, Private Roswell? Mars? Or were you just lost in space? Ha 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 Better. I have an officially sanctioned memorandum for immediate distribution. Private Kelly? Sir! Commence dispersal of said memo. As you can see, there's going to be a mandatory spelling bee next week. Aww. With the grand prize being a get-out-of-detention-free card. Oh, wow! Cool! Wow, a whole day off. But Arangela or Lamangela will probably win anyway. Since most of you scrubs still do your book reports in crayon, there's little chance that any of you will win it. <laughs> Detention! Dismissed. This brain is magnificent. <laughs> it is true. Mr. McQueen's a brain stealing cyborg. A mandatory spelling bee? Give me a break. I'd never win it anyway. I will. Not if I can help it. Guys, guys, guess what I just saw? Uh, a picture of yourself in Doofus Illustrated? No. I just saw Mr. McQueen holding a human brain. Do you know what that means? Our principal is a brain-stealing cyborg. Hello? Is anybody listening? I just said that Mr. McQueen is an alien robot fiend. Yeah, right, Emmett. Just like the last time when you thought there was truth serum in the school milk. You guys believe me, don't you? Hey, 
Hey, Duncan, you want to come over to my house? I got the new Babylon 5 blooper reel. It's hilarious. <laughs> Obviously, they're not convinced. If they only knew what evil lurks in the mind of a cyborg. Now just relax, Earthling. It's virtually painless when we shove the straw up your nose and suck your brains out. Ah! <gasps> I've got to collect evidence and prove it to everyone. The truth is out there. Mr. McQueen will be exposed! Only two men were brave enough to find the lost city of gold. Ah! On March 31st, Fetch. they're going to horse around, have a ball, and let the fun begin. I love this game! From DreamWorks Pictures. We'll follow that trail. You drank the seawater, didn't you? The road to El Dorado. Your horse bit me in the butt! Rated PG. Starts Friday, March 31st, everywhere. Want to unleash an entire world of explosive G.I. Joe military action? You are the power. Turn on the machine. Micro Machines. It's G.I. Joe versus the evil Cobra. And only you and Joe can stop them. Beware Cobra's communication tower. It's loaded with firepower. A massive attack. But now Joe strikes back as you aim the big gun at Checkpoint Bridge and take out Cobra's tower. You're the master of military power. What's going on? Nothing. Now the world of G.I. Joe action is yours to command. You are the power. Turn on the machine. Micro Machines. G.I. Joe Micro Machines. Each sold separately. Some assembly required. A battle looms over this place. It's a battle for destiny. A battle for glory. A battle for... Pokemon Stadium. The place to prove you're the ultimate Pokemon trainer. You can upload your Game Boy Pokemon onto your N64. Then, for the first time ever, battle in 3D. Then, a conquering hero is raised to victory. Sky High. Rated E for everyone. over this place. It's a battle for destiny. A battle for glory. A battle for... Pokemon Stadium. The place to prove you're the ultimate Pokemon trainer. You can upload your Game Boy Pokemon onto your N64. Then, for the first time ever, battle in 3D. Then, a conquering hero is raised to victory. Sky High. Rated E for everyone. Take a ride on a water slide. Put up the fish. Kelly doll comes with everything you see here. Barbie and friend doll sold separately, bubbles not included. You can collect Kelly doll and all her fun friends and ask your parents to see them at kellyclub.com. Doll sold separately. We're firing up the all-new machine on Kids WB. After Batman Superman, it's a full hour of Pokemon. All new. Max Steel. All new. Another Pokemon. All new. Batman Beyond. All new. Men in Black. All new. And detention. You get the picture. Be here next weekend for an all-new day of action and adventure on Kids WB. Dragon Ball Z action figures, Powerball Deluxe figures, and mini action sets are each sold separately from Irwin. This. Uh. Wow. It's 
experience Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey playing MCI Center and DC Armory. <laughs> DK, as in rotting flesh. D E C A Y. DK. Perky. P E R K Y. Perky. Vociferous. V O C I F E R O U S. Vociferous. Chill out. It's just a stupid spelling bee. Spam. <laughs> Do that! I'm on a scouting mission. Undercover agents don't shout Shazam at the top of their lungs. I'm here to help you. Lip zipped. Good. Now I've placed surveillance cameras at key points around the school. Places Mr. McQueen is likely to frequent. Observe. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to tail Mr. McQueen and thus provide credible eyewitness testimony when we expose the cyborg fiend. Get it? Got it. Good. Up, up, and away! Without a doubt, the worst sidekick ever. So, which one of you brainiacs is going to win the spelling bee? I am! Arangela, spell inconsolable. As in, when you lose at the spelling bee, you will be inconsolable. <laughs> I N C O N S O L A B L E. <clears throat> Lamangela, spell vanquish, as in, it will give me great pleasure to vanquish you into oblivion. <clears throat> v A N Q U I S H. <clears throat> pathetic, as in, you two are pathetic, and I'm out of here. <clears throat> Good, very good. Bad, very bad. Shh! Ah! Emmett, I don't have time for this. Unlike some people, I have a life. Be that as it may, prepare to witness the roof being blown off this place. Why? Does Gug have chemistry lab again today? No. I'm talking about our cyborg overlord, a.k.a. Mr. McQueen. Ugh, will you give it up? He's too dull to be a cyborg. That's what he'd like us to believe. I have irrefutable evidence that Mr. McQueen is an alien robotic mastermind sent here to suck our brains out through our noses. Were you his first victim? Hmm. I've called a press conference of the local school newspapers to release my evidence. Want to come? Sure. No way would I miss a chance to see you release the shocking evidence that you're a total dork! Uh, hello? Sharina? Anybody? A little help here? Okay, let's get started. I have called this press conference today to unveil Benedict Arnold Middle School's darkest secret. A secret that will both shock, dismay, and revile you. A secret supported by irrefutable photographic evidence and uncanny eyewitness reporting. What's the secret, Emmett? That Emmett still sleeps with his blankie? <laughs> <laughs> Our principal, Mr. McQueen, is a brain-stealing cyborg. <laughs> I have the proof. <laughs> While the witness recounts his chilling exploits, I'll reveal our photographic proof. Well, um, okay. So, I've been following around Mr. McQueen and stuff, and what I saw was... Um, what I saw was... 
Okay, first he went out and, um, 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 okay. Like, Black Manta, Trapped Aquaman, and the Wonder Twins in the Whirlpool with the robotic crabs, and, ah! The witness is witless. Exhibit A, a mysterious box which has recently appeared on Mr. McQueen's desk. Hmm. Wonder what that could be. Exhibit B, Mr. McQueen preparing to suck the brains out through the nose of an unsuspecting victim. <gasps> Please, give it up, Emmett. But now, for the most compelling evidence of all. Gotcha, you little rodents. Having an unauthorized press conference, eh? Sounds like a violation of Regulation 14-2B. I'm taking you both to Mr. McQueen's office. The, the cyborg? Help! WB50, Z104, and the Washington Times present the drug-free 3v3 youth soccer tournament at the Tacoma Rec Center, Saturday and Sunday, March 25th and 26th. Come out and cheer for the soccer stars of the future and stay drug-free with Washington's WB50. You don't want to smoke weed, but turning down friends can be tricky. Hey, Mike. <laughs> want some? Oh, man, what am I going to say? It's just not for me. It's cool. So be confident and just be yourself. The Pokemon time is 3 p.m. Calling all Pokemon trainers. Pikachu. Pokemon number 25. Type Electric. Squirtle. Charmander. Team Rocket. We're here to get your Pokemon. Pikachu, I choose you! It's becoming Raichu! I don't want to end up as Kaipo! Yeah. Pokemon catching makes you hungry! Animated Sea Watches and Pops, each sold separately from Threadmaster. Pikachu! Is this how you eat yogurt? Not if you're eating new Yo Play Gogurt, the yogurt you eat with your hands! It comes in this totally cool squeeze tube. Squeeze it, slurp it, grab it, glurp it. It's the fun new way to eat yogurt. Hey, lose a spoon. New Yo Play Gogurt, the grab and go yogurt. Woohoo! You can get an awesome finger skateboard or snowboard. Free from Gogurt with two proofs and a dollar shipping. Details on more packages. The Washington Wizards take on the Chicago Bulls. And guess who Jordan's cheering for? Tonight at 7 here on Washington's WB50. Wake up. WB50 Saturdays are more exciting than ever. Did you hear that? There's action. Which one of you for that pie? Adventure. Showtime, boys. Oh, yeah. Cute, cuddly animals. How disgusting. I wouldn't wish that on any. <laughs> the Lost World, Amazon, and back-to-back -back action. Plus, Xena and Beastmaster. Check your dial. Today, only on Washington's WB50. Sharina Wicked? You're our first spelling bee contestant. Please spell the word perky. Could you repeat the word, please? Perky. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Could you use the word in a sentence? Of course. The delightful little girl was both bright and perky. Is that a foreign word? No. It is to me. Detention! Oh, Mr. McQueen could transform us into robot zombies, too. It's like, like I'm General Zod when he was about to be judged by the elders on Krypton? What? what? Shelly Kelly, your word is decay. Do you think I could have a cuter word, Mr. Beal? Of course, Private Kelly. How about the word court-martialed? As in, the private irritated the sergeant and was immediately court-martialed. Decay. Um, D, uh, D, E. Time's up, Private Kelly. In the words of General George Patton, love and war wait for no one. Patton didn't say that. Maybe not to you, Millard. Well, aren't you going to give her detention? Kelly? Nah, she'll just show up anyway. 
Okay, Duncan, your word is... Oh dear, this is a tough one. Calliope. Detention! Well, no doubt try to distract us with some small talk so they can capture us unaware. The fiend! Smash! Crash! Slam! Miss Lane, your leg, are you? I'm fine, Jimmy. Superman, they're getting away. Not on your life. Pow! Bam! Smack! Oof! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Boys, come in, please. Well, congratulations. You've made it to the finals of our little spelling bee. May the best man win. La Majala? Please spell the word prestidigitation. P-R-E-S-T-I-D-I-G-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. Prestidigitation. Correct! Crash and burn. Watch and learn. Miss Kiskilia has informed me that you boys were using the AV room for unauthorized <gasps> purposes. Well... Me. I'm disappointed in you boys, but I'll have to deal with this later. At present, I have to get this over to the spelling bee before it's too late. Before it's too late for what? Before that evil alien cyborg Mr. McQueen attempts to take over the world! to suck out the brains of the spelling bee winner. Come on, let's go! Lamangela, your word is patrilateral. P-A-T-R-I-L-A-T-E-R-A-L. Patrilateral. Correct. Arangela, your word is rivalry. R-I-V-A-L. R-Y. Rivalry. Disqualified! <gasps> Thanks a lot! You ruined my chance of winning! You wouldn't have won anyway. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ow! Mm -hmm. I'm telling Mommy! Mm -hmm. If you two want to audition for World Championship Wrestling, do it on your own time, like I do. In the meantime, detention! shot! Gug, you're the final contestant. If you answer correctly, you have won the spelling bee. And the get out of detention free card. This ought to be quick. The word is vociferous. Vociferous. V O C I F E R O U S. Vociferous. Vociferous. V O C. I-F-E-R-O-U-S Vociferous. <gasps> I won? I won!
He's going for Gug's brain. Let's get him. A human brain? Of course it's not a human brain, Roswell. It's the Golden Brain Award for the Spelling Bee winner. Here's your brain, boy. Wow, my first award. And here's your get out of detention free card. I'm sure you'll be redeeming this real soon. Looks like another full house in detention today. I'm sorry. I was malicious. No, it was I. I was repellent in the extreme. Sister! Hmm, let's see what's in the school paper today. Cyborg hoax. Emmett Roswell humiliated. Oh, no. I think this qualifies you for Doofus Illustrated's Man of the Year. That ought to teach you not to jump to conclusions. Well, don't take it so hard, Chief. Even Batman makes mistakes, like the time he revealed his true identity to Kim Basinger and she didn't even show up for the sequel. <sighs> I guess you're right. Emmett, get an L-I-F-E life. Terry, can you come here? What's up, boss? I've been looking over some numbers. Here's the level of crime in the city when I was Batman. Here's your level. What's your point? You're falling behind. That means only one thing. Oh, no. Terry's working overtime. The Gotham of the future is one big crime spree, and it'll take a little extra effort to clean up this mess. So all this week, Terry's on patrol. Don't miss Batman Beyond, Terry's Double Duty Week, beginning this Monday on Kids WB. Are you? What are you talking about? Is it safe? Hmm? Sharina Wicket? That's right, Miss Kiskilia. It's me. Is it safe? Is what safe? Is it safe to eat the cafeteria food? How would I know? I packed my lunch. Well, perhaps a bit of truth <laughs> dust might help you think. Ah! ah! <laughs> no, stop! <laughs> Sharina, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm done cleaning the erasers, Miss Kiskilia. Private, if we had a proper brig in this civilian circus, you'd be in it. As for the rest of you, I'm sure I'll see you all here tomorrow, and the next day, and the day after that, because you belong here. Detention is your destiny. Have a nice day. Dismissed. What did Kiskiu you mean by the 
intention is our destiny. She means we don't have a choice. No matter what we do, we'll always end up in detention. Well, guess what? Miss Kiskilly is not the boss of me. My destiny is to expose the unseen hand of the sinister forces that control every aspect of our lives. The only hand you're gonna expose is mine upside your head. Will you please give us a break with that conspiracy stuff? I know our destiny doesn't have anything to do with detention. We're gonna be CEOs for big company. And the first thing we're gonna downsize is... Miss Kiskilia's Derriere. <laughs> But what if Kiskilia's right? What if we don't have any choice? There's always a choice. We have free will. Uh, uh, oh, I saw that movie. That whale was awesome. Not free willy. Free will! The ability to make your own decisions to determine your own future? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I know I can stay out of detention if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> You stay out of detention? <laughs> well, I can stay out of detention longer than any of you. Wanna bet? Yeah. Let's make it a contest. A contest? What kind of contest? To see who can stay out of detention longer. Why would you want to do that? Because we're tired of seeing you every day? Because Kiskilia doesn't think we can. And because we're tired of seeing you every day? Can I join in? I love contests. Shelly, you can't be in on this. You never get in trouble. You just go to detention because you're Kiskilia's pet. I could get into trouble if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Your idea of getting into trouble is forgetting to floss before bedtime. So, to win our contest, she's got to do something bad to get thrown into detention. How about it, Shelly? Did you guys know four out of five dentists surveyed recommended flossing before bedtime? <sighs> two shoes. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. Wait a minute, what do we win? What's a contest without a prize? The losers have to do everything the winner says for a week. Ooh, I'd love to see you guys cleaning my room, alphabetizing my comic book collection, doing my algebra homework, watching the Olsen twins videos. <laughs> or not. To free will! Yeah! Yeah, I'm in. I saw the sequel too! The whale was awesome! Again! Not free willy! Oh. Hot Wheels! Think you got what it takes to hang with Tony Hawk? Boom! You do now! New Hot Wheels Extreme Skateboarders. A supercharged electric motor and killer kickback action means the monster tricks never end. Drop it at the skate park. And these guys have more backside, forward slide, and tail grind and action than you can shake your stick at. Sledhead, Sidekick, Grinder, and Flyboy. New Extreme Skateboarders from Hot Wheels. New XB Extreme Skate Park comes with one border. You put it together. Other XB Extreme Skateboarders sold separately. Batteries not included. Oreo Double Stuff Cookies. If the taste doesn't get you, the cream will. It's time for a Pick Your Pokemon Day Poke Fact with Professor Oak. Blastoise can fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in under a minute using the powerful water cannons on its back. Now, back to Pick Your Pokemon Day on Kids WB. There are too many ways to die out here. In a world filled with breathtaking beauty, <laughs> danger isn't just in the jungle. I said put me down! Oh. These explorers are about to make the discovery of a lifetime. <laughs> the Lost World. Tonight at 6 on Seattle's WB22. <laughs> He's out of the middle. And into the movies. Why don't you just tell the whole world? Malcolm in the Middle's Frankie Muniz in My Dog Skip. What are you looking at? From Warner Brothers Family Entertainment comes the story of a dog. Get that dog out of here! Who's one boy's hero. Chicks really dig it. 
and everyone's friend. Look at that dog. <laughs> My Dog Skip. Rated PG. Now playing at a theater near you. myself. I'm Gug. Detention free all the time. What makes you think you're going to win and not me? You? You don't have the discipline I do. I have the awesome mental strength to do anything I want. Yeah? Can you jump up and touch that ceiling? They make ceilings too high anyway. Now, children, today I'm going to introduce you to the wonderful world of macrame. With macrame, you can create just about anything. Look at this lovely sundress I made. My, it seems to have shrunk a bit. I'll need a volunteer to model this outfit. A very small volunteer. Hey, how about Gog? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no! No way! Anybody who tries to put that dress on me gets hurt. Please, Gog. I think you're the only one here who can fit into it. Disobeying a teacher is a detentionable offense. Ugh. Awesome mental strength. <laughs> this is unfair, man. I got a bum rap. What did I do? You violated regulation 67-B, disobeying a teacher. Ha <laughs> ha! What are you guys doing? We're going for ice cream. And afterwards, we're going to a soccer match. Then we're going to a swimming party at Shelly's house. Uh. Wanna come, Gug? I can't. I'm stuck in detention. All right. I'll do it. Yeah! So, Seymour, how about we get together for some military maneuvers after work? Look at me, Miss Caskillia. I'm chewing gum on school grounds. Good for you, Private. Ta-da! Gug is wearing the very latest in home economics fashion wear, the macrame dress. All natural, cool in the summer, warm in the winter. Macrame is the prize cup with that shade. Awesome mental strength. And now, to complete the ensemble, Gug will add a sun hat and handbag. Now, Arangela and Lamangela, since you're the only two students in advanced computer programming, I'm going to trust you to work on your own. Yes, Miss Powers. And don't reprogram the computerized report card system so that everyone gets straight A's like you did the last time. We shall vow to abide by the regulations of this educational institution and not jeopardize our responsibility to our favored educator. Excuse me? You, you can, can trust us. Great. I'll be grading papers in the next room if you have any questions. I think it's time for us to make a few changes around here. Hey! I like the way you think. The school's menu planning program. I'm scheduling triple cheese deep dish pizza for next Tuesday's entree. Mmm, delightfully delicious. I scanned in a new photo for the school computer screensaver effective today. Wait a minute, what about the contest? If we get into trouble, we'll land in detention. I don't want to have to clean Gog's bedroom. If we want to win that contest, there's only one thing to do. Behave. <sighs> That's not going to be any fun. Look at me, Miss Kiskilia! I'm running in the hallway! Ugh. Now, class, I'd like to review the process for today's science experiment. Why can't we ever do anything cool like create a whole new breed of superhero? Because Mr. Fletcher's experiments are just a cover for his real job of Mondo Mind Controller. Hello. <laughs> they were trapped. No one to help them. 
the brain slowly being turned to mush. It would be up to me, Octoman, to save the day. My octopus sense tells me there isn't much time. I have to act now. First, I'll need a diversion. Which one of you kids threw that beaker across the room? It worked. Doesn't anyone else see what's going on here? Mr. Fletcher is trying to brainwash us. Being very careful to remove the stopper before pouring the liquid, we will see how the ink reacts. Oh, it's all so clear. Mr. Fletcher knows about our contest and is using alien brainwaves to force me to get into trouble. And then after he knocks me out of the contest, I'm gonna get thrown into detention. Unless I do something about it. subdue this evil villain. I know! My trusty disorienting ink! And pouring so as to make sure all the ink goes into the beaker. <laughs> Way to go, Jim! Ink the alien! <laughs> Good morning, Private Wicket. Good morning, Miss Kiskilia. No smirk? No sass? No sarcasm? What's going on with you, Private? Nothing, ma'am. Just enjoying another wonderful day at Benedict Arnold. Have a great day. What? what, what? You're acting funny, girly. Nothing funny going on. Sorry I won't be seeing you. Won't be seeing me in detention? Now that's funny! <laughs> Welcome to Wendy's Kids Meal World! It's just for kids. Try and handle the hamburger flip or the crispy nugget dip. Next, ride the fry shoot or one of the coolest rides, Frosty Mountain. Wendy's kids' meals are just for kids, and so is what's inside. Now, Wendy's has mini Hasbro Classic clip-ons. Oh, no! You've got cooties! Get a load of this Tonka dump truck. Star for action, you can play the Hungry Hungry Hippos pinball game. Now, one mini Hasbro Classic clip-on in every Wendy's kids' meal purchase. You can collect all five. It's Cabbage Patch. win a free preemie surprise twin. You won! If it says you're a winner, mail reply card. One out of 54 dolls will have a twin that will be sent by mail free. No purchase necessary for a chance to win a free doll. Details on package. It's fun! Hanging out with the Cabbage Patch Kids! <laughs> Cabbage Patch Kids premium surprise doll comes with all this. Each sold separately. Kids should not move without your help. Hey, Flyboy. Can we have a word? What can I do for you? Somebody forgot to file their alien registration forms. My what? We'll need you to come with us. Hope you two have learned something. Busted you too, huh? Men in Black, all new today on Kids WB. Blowtorch, check. Rope, check. Yo-yos, check. Now that we've got our survival kit, Lard Butt Kiss Kill you can't keep us in detention. Hey, did you hear that? Oh. Hey, man, what happened? Somebody grabbed the flashlight. Hello, boys! <laughs> There's no escaping. He turned shot. All new today on Kids WB. Got it. <laughs> Duncan, you're not holding a yo yo. Put your hand down. As you know, Mr. Bubble, we've confiscated a yo-yo from you nearly every day you've been a student here at Benedict Arnold. And look! Here they all are! Pretty, huh? Look, a red one! I just don't know what to do with all of these. Perhaps I should donate them to a home for the yo yo -less. Mr. Bubble? Duncan? Are you all right? Duncan? Are you all right? Ah! 
This means detention! Well, girls, I'm very impressed with the work you've done today. Thank you, Miss Powers. Screensaver has been forwarded to all terminals. Hmm, I didn't know anything about a new screensaver. Girls, someone has hacked into our computer system. <gasps> oh my, this is a sophisticated job. Uh-huh. Whoever did this, well, he sure is smart. He, what makes you think it's a he? Guys aren't smart enough to do this. Well, everyone knows boys are smarter at computers than girls. Excuse me? If I find the culprit, it'll be straight to detention for him. We did it, Miss Powers! Not a boy! It, it was, was us! I'm running on the gym floor, wearing my street shoes. Private Kelly? Yes, Miss Kaskilia? Why doesn't Sharina Wicket think she'll be in detention today? <sighs> oh, well, the kids are having a contest to see who can stay out of detention, because you said they couldn't. But they said that everyone can determine their own destinies and we all have free will. But not the whale, silly. Enough. I get the picture. <clears throat> Miss Kiskilia? What is it, Private? You're looking awfully plump today. Huh? Oh, thank you, Private Kelly. Nice of you to notice. Dismissed. Golly gee! And, and, and shoot! So, Wicked thinks she's going to stay out of detention, huh? We'll just see about that. <laughs> All right, ladies, we're breaking into two groups. One group shoots baskets, the other runs the obstacle course. On the obstacle course is... Sharina Wicket. Everyone else shoot baskets. I'm the only one that has to run the obstacle course, Miss Kiskilia? Well, Wicket, you can always refuse. It'll only cost you a day in detention. Why would I do that? I love the obstacle course. Come on, Wicket. We both know you don't have the guts to make it through this course. Just give up? Save yourself the embarrassment. Miss Kiskilia, I know I'm destined to make it through this course. All right. Let's see what you got. <laughs> You're destined to fail, Wicked. You're weak and you know it. You're not going to make it, Wicket. Your arms are getting heavy. So very heavy, they feel like lead. <gasps> Admitted soldier, this obstacle course is for the strong. And you're too weak. Why don't you just surrender? I won't be beaten. There's got to be something in the rule book that I can get her on. There's got to be. Miss Kaskilia, I made all the basketballs smaller so they'd fit in the equipment cage better. Nothing. Nothing. Arr. Oh. Drat. Miss Kaskilia, I'm going to hose down the gym, okay? <laughs> You boys sit. So anyway, then she tries to make me put on a hat and hold the purse. Hmm. Hey, where's Sharina? Maybe Green Lantern saved her. Or maybe some aliens landed and took her back to their planet for further experimentation. No, you doofuses. Sharina didn't get detention. She won the contest. <laughs> like I always said, that Sharina's got some awesome mental strength.
I want all of you to sit quietly and think about why you're here. Again. Where's that attendance sheet? You just bought yourself detention! Yes, Miss Kiskilia. I knew you couldn't stay out of detention. Like I said before, you just can't help it. Correction, Miss Kiskilia. I can help it. I just chose not to. Hmm. Besides, I couldn't let you guys have all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool of you. Very cool. You're a great shot, too. The CIA trained you, didn't they? Yep. I was in the special butt unit. <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Miss Kaskilia, I've just hosed down the gym. Everything's soaked. Pretty bad, huh? Excellent, Private. I've been meaning to get someone in here to clean that messy gym for months. Double drat! Huh? You know what Shelly lacks? Awesome mental strength. Lights fade and the moon rises, anything can happen. The world becomes a carnival of shocks and chills. A whirling merry-go-round that never stops, spinning faster and faster, taking you on a frightening ride. I'm R.L. Stein. Don't fall asleep. Or you may find yourself in the Nightmare Room. Janet Bingham. Here. Todd Rossi. Yeah. Yes, present or here are proper responses. Here. Frederick Gold. Here. You are Edward Gold's younger brother. Yes, sir. Your brother spent a great deal of time in detention as well. Apparently, misbehavior runs in your family. Alexis Hall. Here. Dexter Mancuso. Present and accounted for. I am Mr. Langley, and although you are in detention, nevertheless you are in a classroom, and therefore a lesson will be taught. You're going to teach? You know, somehow I never understand how so many of you students are so disrespectful to teachers. Teachers! People who spend their entire lives devotedly trying to help you. And what do we get in return? We're ridiculed, made fun of, and then we are forgotten. <laughs> Quiet! I'll check the circuit breaker. Mr. Langley, I just wanted to let you know that I was really looking forward to learning something today. What'd you have to make him mad for? He's only gonna take it out on us. I think I recognize that guy. A few years ago, some kids from the lacrosse team were egging his car. I mean, totally. All you needed was a side of toast. 
and Langley did nothing. He just stood there. And what did you do? Just wondering. I laughed. It was a long time ago, though. The lights aren't out of your place? That's weird. I gotta go. Okay. How long does it take to check a circuit breaker? Well, if he's gone for this long, can't we leave? Isn't that like a rule? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not supposed to be here. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Me neither. I just got this note from the office saying to report here after the last bell. Yeah, me too. That's weird. Ooh. Whatever. I'm bailing. Yeah, I'm out of here too. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go check out the office, see what's going on. I'll go with. So you've heard of this Langley guy? I think he coached the debate team a bunch of years ago. He used to hear his name a lot. What for? Well, when the school voted to get rid of stuff like the debate team because it didn't have enough money, my dad was a board president or something. But I thought Langley, like, retired. Retired? If he did, then what's he doing here? What's wrong? They're stuck. Hey. You don't think Langley locked us in here, do you? To teach us some stupid lesson? He can't. It's against fire code, isn't it? Let's check the other side. fooling around. <laughs> Come on, guys. Are you there? Whoa! Oh, oh, shoot. It's time, Frederick. Time for what? To pay for the sins of your brother. She's wearing that schoolgirl outfit and she's trying to act all innocent, but she's so totally fake. Jen? Hello? I thought you guys were leaving. What, you chicken out? Yes, Todd. The idea of life outside these walls was just too much for us to bear. I hate you. Well, you better get used to me. Because the front doors are stuck and the rest are chained for the night. Hey, but I found this. Hey. You mean we can't get out? We're, like, trapped here? Ah! Freddy? Freddy? Freddy, are you in here? Are you okay? Look. Four left to go. What is that supposed to mean? It means Freddy's gone. And we're next. your bags trainers pokemon the johto journeys is next then the mutants of the x-men evolution take over followed by static shock today on kids wb i don't remember human torpedo being part of my job description max steel today at 11 30 10 30 central and pacific before he could be a toy he had to be a hero looks like another fine day to stop galactic evil Back on the viewport. Did someone say evil? You lose, Lawbreaker. We should hurry now. Launch into the next millennium. Makes an entrance. You gotta give him that. With Disney and Pixar's Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, the TV series. Weekdays at 8, only on WB20. You're a hedgehog, and you have supersonic power. Fall up right now and roll. Action. Come on, honey, and you're brave, and you're scared. Hey, 
Focus! I want you to think about the marketing opportunities here. Okay, in front of the paper. What part of supersonic speed do you not understand? The right hedgehog is hard to find. New Sonic Adventure 2 Battle with extra two player action. Only on Nintendo GameCube. Rated E for everyone. All right, I'm sorry I yelled at you. My Youth for Understanding experience was the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. If you want to learn a language, this is how you do it. You meet a whole new family that are willing to accept you and take you in. You only live once, so you do it, try it, live it. Go global. Brothers give you someone to talk to. Well, I've been thinking. Well, don't do that. You might hurt yourself. Brothers are here to set a good example. Very good, grasshopper. Brothers will really set you straight. Shut up. Well, Brothers are always there for you, no matter what. I mean, this is a tough time for a guy, and I need a brother right now. I almost wish I had a couple more. Try to keep up those nice smells for just a half an hour more. You can relate. Weekdays at 9, only on WB20. Knoxville, you're watching WB20. Look, let's not all freak out, okay? Let's just call someone for help. I'm all over that. The battery's dead. What? You burned out your whole battery? It's not my fault. Who's been yakking on the phone all day talking about nothing? Are you judging the quality of my conversations? You shouldn't even be allowed to recharge that phone until you can prove you have something worthwhile to say. Oh yeah, Dex, like every word out of your mouth is a keeper. Stop it! Ah! Hey guys. Ah! Okay. I looked all over for Freddy. He's nowhere to be found. He has to be somewhere. There's no way to get out. You guys think Freddy's just playing a big joke on us? Freddy? Get real. He wouldn't know where to begin. I know where he is. With Langley. It's dead. It's probably down because of the storm. Well, what about email? No phones, Alexis. No phones, no modem, no email. No, no, no. The, the office has a T1, which means we don't need a modem. How are you going to run a computer without power? Miss Hanover, she works on a laptop. It runs on a battery. Come on, let's try. Come on, let's go check out the windows. Don't people usually keep laptops on the desk so they can reach the keyboard? Maybe she put it away so it wouldn't get ripped off. You keep looking. I'll check in there. Hey, what if Langley's in there? Looks empty. That is not a laptop. Read it. 1992 varsity debate team state champions coach Tobias Tobias Langley probably is one big claim to fame oh. must be some kind of safety glass this isn't gonna work Hey, 
let me out. Hang on. Come on, unlock this thing. There is no lock on this side. What? It's time, Dex. <laughs> This whole place was falling apart. Janet, listen. No, no, you listen! Look, something's happening here. Before, in the hallway, all the lockers went crazy. They were just... Is that Dex? Three left to go. First Freddy, now Dex. That leaves us three. Wait, this is just Dex messing with us, right? How? How could he do this? And how could that copier be working? There's no power. Guys, wait! We'll let this hang on. These are all the kids and teachers from school who've died, right? Tobias Langley, 1935 to 1996. Langley's been dead for five years? your cartoon viewing pleasure. Just how are we going to do it? By showing exotic dances, falling objects, altered states, pony rides, funny hats, weird glasses, hot rod furniture, really big batteries, delightful woodland creatures, steamy hot bowls of Brussels sprouts, and most of all, my belly button. Ew! It's the Big Cartoony Show with brand new hosts Karen and Kirby, all new today on Kids WB. Get on the bus, the train's gonna leave. You've just spotted the Jubba Bus. To find out how to win a busload of toys, keep watching Kids WB. You're watching Kids WB on WB23. Catch the new adventures of Robin Hood Sunday on the WB. Trapped in a world where dinosaurs roam. And danger is everywhere. These explorers have only one goal. Survival. Anybody help? Trust me, this is going to be big. Oh, yeah. Really big. The Lost World. Tonight, only on the WB. Kids WB presents, you see, a person you might want to be those crazy careers. It's the noisiest job in the world. I'm a Foley artist, and I do sound effects. I'm a Chicola Foley artist. Talks among the hardest making sound effects for film and TV. Falling down on the floor. Or maybe slamming the door. And for this, I got a college degree. I got these weird little toys for making all kinds of noise. So that it sounds like the stuff on the screen. These are my favorite sound effects. I love smashing and bashing and then stop flashing. With loads of explosions between. Ready when you are, Lenny. Lot of junk around here. It's one person's junk is uh, our prop. If you want a career, listen up for your girls and your boys. I got a job with a baby, we say to make noise. Okay, that's a wrap. That's our song, and that's a lot of crazy careers. Dogs have something to say. Thank you.
you, Curtis. And now, back to our program. It's gonna be okay. It stays wrong. Everything is gonna be okay. Time, Alexis, to pay for the sins of your father. I don't like this. She never should have run off. Alexis! That's my locker. That's Alexis's phone. What is this doing in my locker? Hello? Two left to go. What do you think his ghost or spirit or whatever it is wants? I don't know, and I do not want to find out. They always want something to avenge their death or to get even for something. That's why their souls aren't at rest. Well, this guy's soul was definitely not at rest. What did he say we did to him anyways? Disrespected him, ridiculed him? I forgot him. What? I think that's it. We got those pink slips because we all did something that Langley wants to avenge. Dex. Dex laughed at him when his car got egged, and, and he said that Freddy's brother always misbehaved. Oh, yeah. And Alexis told me how her father voted to dissolve the debate team. The debate team? That was like the highlight of Langley's life. How about you? What's your connection? I don't know. I can't think of anything. Wait. A couple months ago, uh, Mrs. Hanover asked me if I wanted to start a new debate club. And, and I said, no way. Nobody's going to want to do that. And then she just sort of uh, dropped it. We'd have a new debate team again if it wasn't for me. What about you? It's time, Janet. What do you want? You, you want respect? You want to be remembered? How can I do that? You're dead! It's time to pay for your sins. Todd's MVP award. Langley wants his trophy back. Over. Tommy! Come home! 
I'd like you to meet your new Tiffany Amber Thiessen. Hey, it could happen. It's time to play fishing around. Swimming around with nothing to do. Eight little fishes just waiting for you. Fishing around, the musical game where you catch the fish in your cart, collect three cards, and fishing around for Milton Bradley. Batteries not included. Gator golf, step right up. What could be greater than golf with a gator? Gator golf, give it a whack. Gator golf, yeah. throw it right back. Gator golf, what could be greater than playing a game of golf? Yeah. Yeah. What could be greater than playing a game of golf? Yeah. Go. The aliens are out of control, so we're ordering the men in black to pull a double shift. Oh, man. Stay tuned for two men in black adventures, both today on Kids WB. No rest for the best of the best. You're a hedgehog, and you have supersonic powers. Ball up right now and roll. Action. Come on, honey. And you're brave. And you're scared. Hey, focus! I want you to think about the marketing opportunities here. Okay, in front of the paper. What part of supersonic speed do you not understand? The right hedgehog is hard to find. New Sonic Adventure 2 Battle with extra two-player action. Only on Nintendo GameCube. Rated E for everyone. All right, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Every child can learn, but some need a little extra attention. And sometimes a parent or a family friend sees that before anyone else. If you know a young person between 3 and 21 who has learning problems because of a physical or mental disability, call Metro Schools Child Find program at 259-8698 to find out more about getting them the help they need. Child Find is another service of the Metro Nashville Public Schools, where every child can learn. Wouldn't be because... Because of... Everything. Everything that's happened. What happened? Janet, I think that you seriously need to chill out. You don't remember? Uh, about detention? Yeah, there was a message on the board. Detention's canceled. Canceled? Yeah, needless to say, I'm out of here. Me too. Peace. You coming? You know what? I think I'm going to hang out here for a while.
New picture is going to go right here? Uh-huh. Yeah, once these are down, we're going to have plenty of room to put all the varsity teams, you know, student council, that kind of thing. I always thought this memorial's kind of morbid anyway. Oh, yeah. It's going to be definitely better for the school spirit. And I can't imagine who'd object. School is a place for learning, but some lessons are harder than others. These five students found out that your mistakes can come back to haunt you. Especially if your classes are held in the Nightmare Room. Prepare for trouble! Make it double! Oh no, not the rhyme again! No, it's a completely different one! To extend our reach to the planets beyond! Kids WB is giving you a double dose of Pokémon! Every weekday, catch one episode in the morning! And the second in the afternoon! That doesn't rhyme! We're working on it! Well, while you're trying to get that right, Batman Beyond will be taking flight with two bonus episodes twice a week! I love his outfit, it's so chic! If it's Batman and Pokémon you want to see, you'll catch it all here on Kids WB! And now, an all-new episode of Card Captures on Kids WB. Today on Card Captures. Sword, thunder, power, sleep, card, captors of the cloud, expect the unexpected now. The secrets of the cloud were all a mystery. But when this mighty book was opened, the powers were set free. Card captors, a mystic adventure. Card captors, a quest for all time. Each card possesses a power all its own. We've got to find them to bring the power home. Hard captors, a mystic adventure. Hard captors, a quest for all time. Hard captors, hard captors. pretty soon. Yeah, does Dash ever get tired? Well, that's the good news. It only handles short distances. Now, Sakura! Wendy! Release and dispel! Got it! Hero, the card's fighting Wendy! It'll get hurt if it struggles. Oh, what was that? Well, I don't see it anywhere. Wait! I've got a sense from over there, but it's not strong. Dash struggles so hard against Windy, its energy will be low. Now is the perfect time to capture it, Sakura. Uh. <clears throat> Should have used the jump card. Right over here, officer. Huh? Huh? Uh, Sakura, someone's coming. Oh, great. Sure wasn't the cats again, ma'am? Absolutely not. I saw someone right over here. You sure about that? Yes, and she was wearing the most bizarre outfit. You see? Well, it's very Mardi Gras. Shh. <sighs> we can come back. The dash card's gonna need to rest up, so it's not going anywhere. Hmm. Is something out there, Jess? It's nothing. A plant fell over. Probably just a cat. <gasps> Don't 
be afraid. Come here, kitty. Huh? What's the matter? Aw, you've hurt your leg. I'll be right back. seen an animal quite like you before. You're pretty cool. Oh yeah? Same to you. <laughs> All right, Madison! A baseball uniform! Not bad. I can live with this. Huh? Oh. Yeah, it's a great disguise. How's your leg, Hoppy? Huh? Hello? Anybody home? This yours, Sakura? Jesse, you live here? Nice outfit. I didn't know that the school had a baseball game today. Oh, sorry I can't come watch, but I just got back from practice. Big track meet coming up. I've been training really hard. Thanks to get a qualifying time. Yeah, I heard about that. Sure hope you make it. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck in the game. I take it you didn't get the dash card? No. I guess it's back to the drawing board, Madison. <laughs> Jesse says that the track meet trials are next week, but she needs a faster time. On your marks, get set. Hi, Jesse. Hi. So, how's it going? Hmm? It's okay. I'm going to qualify. Mind over matter, right? Yep. Um, Jesse. Come on, let's do it again. You ready? Uh... Let's go! Okay. Well, she's sure training hard. Uh-huh. Huh? On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> Jesse? Huh? That's a personal best for you! Bring on! Don't miss the action when Card Captors returns on Kids WB. Are these kids' meals? Oh, your kids and those are meals. Dispatch, when these kids' meal agents engage freeze. Yeah, nugget! Cool frosty! Great work, team! Wendy's Kids Meals, great food, cool toy, like this! Now Wendy's is getting extreme with Sports Illustrated for Kids x -team Toys. Wait till you get your fingers on this extremely fun skateboard or the extremely cool snowboard. You can go extremely fast on these skates or get extremely daring on the BMX bike. There's one x -team toy in every Wendy's Kids Meal purchase. You can collect all four. Tomorrow. There's not a dog on this planet that can scare me. Man's best friend will teach this mailman a few new tricks. This dog is smart. Get the dog! Get the dog! Where is that mutt? Get up! Is everything all right? I'm a very responsible guy. See Spot Run. What's going on? Rated PG starts tomorrow. New Heinz Easy Squirt Ketchup has a nozzle that makes it easy to draw. On food! Heinz Easy Squirt. It's fun for your food. Just around the corner, your destiny awaits. It's the challenge of a lifetime. Squirtle! I choose you! Step up and take your place. When the road is long and friends are by your side. We did it, Mom! No mountains too steep, no river too wide. 
You've got the heart of a master, a Pokemon master. Pokemon, next on Kids WB. Why are these beautiful pop stars dressed like this? See what they're hiding on an all new Pop Stars this week on the WB Friday Night. Sometimes the hand is quicker than the eye. How'd you do that? Jackie Chan, this Saturday at 9, 8 Central and Pacific. Later. Now inside every pack of Gushers, mixed in with your favorite flavors, you'll find Mystery Gushers. Every Mystery Gushers piece has a surprising blast of tasty juice. You never know what flavor you'll get. Oh, new Mystery Gushers. Taste the blast. There's a place you can choose your cool, a place just for kids where the good times go. Decisions, decisions. And now, back to Card Captors on Kids WB. Guess what, Mom? I ran my best time ever today. Honey, that's wonderful. Come on, eat up. It's a celebration. This animal I found's brought me good luck. Huh? And it's not getting out of my sight. Great. I mean, just to be able to run in the inter-school track meet, that's what I dream about. I dream about cake. Um, hey, you guys have got to meet him. His name is Hoppy. Oh. Hoppy? No, we got to go. Ah! We do? Besides, you can't show us your good luck charm. They say that it's bad luck. Oh, okay. Now, where's my backpack? Oh, there it is. Thanks very much for the cake and everything. We'll be rooting for you. Thanks. See you soon. The dashed card's got to be having some effect on her, Kiro. She's never burned up the track like that. That card's getting stronger. Seal it fast. Okay. Hey, Hoppy. Everything's okay. Why are you so spooked all of a sudden? There you go. Hmm? <laughs> Thirteen seconds? Jesse, that's a school record. School record? Right on! I made it! I qualified! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Sure am. And what's that? Big win. Yeah. You know, I don't think a kid from our school has even qualified for the 100-meter dash in a long time. That's so cool. And she's only 12. She's my hero. She trains hard. But Miss Mackenzie, she wasn't running like this last week. Maybe last week she didn't believe she could. That can make a big difference. Uh... Sakura, uh, where are you going? Oh, nowhere. I know whose fault it'll be if Jessie doesn't win. What? Ours! Let's go down to the field and cheer her on. Oh, yeah, right. That's it for today. Good practice, Jessie. Congrats. Thanks. champ. Not yet, but I'm sure working on it. Before, I wasn't even sure I would qualify. Now I want to win. That's great. Jesse, time to stretch. Be right there. I can't believe the meet is just three days away, and I'm in the best shape ever. Good luck. Thanks. Well, if she's at practice all the time, then you can capture the dash card without any problem. Right, Sakura? Sakura, I can't do it. What? Excuse me? Kiro, I want to wait till the track meet's over before I seal the card. Look, the longer you wait, the stronger that card will be, my friend. Yeah, I know that. But Jessie thinks that the dash card is some stray animal that's bringing her good luck. And 
She's really been working hard at this, Kiro. Hey, who made you Coach of the Year? Last time I looked, you were a card captor. I am going to do it when I'm ready, Kiro. But Sakura... No, Kiro. Ugh. Listen, sometimes the choice you have to make isn't necessarily the choice you want to make, Sakura. Hey, Sakura, I see that today's paper has a photo of that sprinter from your school. Really? She sounds like a real champion. Breaking school records. This track meet will have plenty of press coverage. A win could mean an awful lot for that young girl. Episode 1. She's elegant. Queen Amidala. Let's get her ready. She's got the most amazing clothes. So many different looks. She's beautiful. Royal Elegance Amidala comes with the accessories you see here. Stands not included from Hasbro. Y2K. Will Skyways replace highways? What will happen to TV? Crime fighting? Sports? Schools? Go to kidswb.com and tell us your predictions for the future. If your idea is wild and visionary like Batman Beyond, we'll read it here on TV. Imagine Beyond, all during October on Kids WB. Alien spaceships? Bizarre technology? Monsters in the streets? A flying saucer. That's no flying saucer. They stand between fact and fiction. MIB. We got your back. Men in Black, are you ready for the truth? All new, next on Kids WB. Ma -ma -ma monsters. Magic Stone with Monster Rancher, Sundays on Kids WB. While walking in a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. Well, I bought that box of crayons and took it home with me and drew with all the colors so the crayons could all see. That each of us is special and everyone's unique, but it's when we get together that... The picture is complete! We now continue with Card Captors on Kids WB. Go! Unreal. 
looks amazing. There. Huh? Thanks a lot, Lee. That's all of them. Hello? What are you looking at? Uh, nothing. I hope. Two days to the meet, Jesse. How do you feel? Like a winner. Okay, come on, girls. Let's try those flips again. Oh, okay. yeah, great. <laughs> You're much better, aren't you? <whistles> Thanks for the good luck. <whistles> Hoppy. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. I just wish I could figure out a way for you to come to the big track meet with me. Sakura, you have to seal the dash card now before it starts to create some real chaos. Ah, this has gone on long enough. You're a card captor. You're supposed to capture cards. Hey. Huh? huh? It's Lee. With the lazen board, it's found a cloud card. And it's pointing to Jesse's house. You are getting healthy. Maybe you can help me work on my high jump. <laughs> well, you waited too long. It's here. She'll be winning because of the magic, not because of her own strength. It would be like a lie, Sakura. I mean, what kind of friendship is that, huh? I... Sakura, it's coming this way. Sorry, Jesse. It's right there. Sakura? Key of Cloud! Why didn't you just seal it? Uh, Hoppy! Hoppy, come back! Hoppy! Hoppy! Hmm. Uh. You had to. Sakura, I think she's going to do just fine. Mm -hmm. 
Take your places for the girls' 100 meter final. Relax. Just run your race. Okay. Your marks, get set. Are you telling me you think Jessie won because she used Dash's speed? Huh? But... You know, I'm really surprised you'd think something like that. I didn't do anything. I just happened to have the Dash card with me. Jessie didn't win because of any magic. She won on her own abilities after all. And the girl's 100 meter goes to Jessie Hamilton of Readington Elementary School. Captors will be back on Kids WB. What do big kids want? More shots! More tricks! More height! More food! Big kids want to be treated like big kids. So you can come to Burger King and get a Burger King Big Kids meal served your way with more great tasting food, fun, and of course, a cool toy. In the battle of good versus evil, one man stands tall. Well, sort of. Introducing Jackie Chan Adventures Premium Toys that perform stunts like Jackie Chan. One comes with every Burger King kids meal. Taste rules. This year. There's not a dog on this planet that can scare me. Man's best friend will teach this mailman a few new tricks. This dog is smart. Get the dog! Get the dog! Where is that mark? Is everything all right? I'm a very responsible guy. See Spot Run. What's going on? Rated PG, now playing. Hey, we want to get into trouble? Yeah, it's my game. Get into trouble. Yeah. It's my get into trouble. It's trouble. First one home wins, but watch out. Back to start. What are you guys doing? Get into trouble. It's my get into trouble. Pops, the candy pop you lick and dip. Vaporeon, use your ice beam now! Next time, please use a breath mint. Pokemon, next on Kids WB. Him, him, her, her, him, 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 her. Which one is really a robot named Seda? The answer is all of them. Able to holographically change his appearance, Seda must disguise himself from the people who made him. He's on the run from them with his only friend, a girl named Ro. So now it's him and her versus them. The Zeta Project, all new this Saturday at 10.30, 9.30 Central and Pacific on Kids WB. Sonny's at the world's kookiest coaster. Oh, nothing's cookier than that. Oh, yeah? I bet you go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs with just one bite. You're wrong. <laughs> We're cuckoo when you pack your puffs with a great taste of Hershey's, you get a chocolatey taste kids can't help but go cuckoo for. That's the one and only Cocoa Puffs, a chocolatey part of a good breakfast. <laughs> one bite. Oh! Hey, you 
go, 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 go! Hi, I'm Alex Garcia from the Fox News at 9. We all know how important weather is in our daily lives, but it's also fun and exciting. So come on out and check the Traveling Weather Center over at the Witty Museum, March 10th. It's our interactive exhibit using some of the tools we use to predict weather, and you may even have a chance to get on the big screen and give your own weather cast. We'll even give you a video copy. So make plans to join me at the Witty Museum for WeatherQuest. I forecast it's going to be big fun. Sponsored in part by Domino's Pizza. And now, back to Card Captors on Kids WB. Each card that is captured has a magical seal. A new mystical card today we reveal. Shot card. Are the men in black. Yeah, well, I'm a bug in red. I'm a bobolot in dusky pink. A stellarian in turquoise. An alpha in asphalt. Drek in burnt umber. Smick in minty sage. Whatever. Men in black, Monday through Thursday at 3 p.m. on Kids WB. Has <laughs> being Batman just given me a suspicious nature? Yes, along with a serious case of hood hair. Batman Beyond, Tuesday through Thursday at 3.30. Hang on tight for the season premiere of Men in Black here on Kids WB. Excellency? It's nothing. Thankfully, we've prevailed. Think again. Blah. Revenge will be mine. You, your guards, your entire family. No one will escape my rebels. No matter where they hide. You hear me? No matter where. Yo, Zed! Anybody home? Hmm. Massage. One o'clock. Hmm. I got me a good half hour. That's what I'm talking about. Now look here, Junior. As long as I'm the grand poobah of this organization... <laughs> uh... It's for you. <laughs> See, I was just dropping off those files you wanted, and I heard your desk ringing, so I figured I'd take a massage. I mean, message. Only, uh... Can it, Junior? Emperor Pla, from the looks of your palace, I take it this isn't a social call. The rebels have intensified their efforts, Zed. Threaten my family. I fear that they will target Rax. Who's Rax? The Emperor's son, living on Earth under a student visa. Not to worry, Pla. I'll assign one of my best people to go undercover and shadow your son. Thank you, my old friend. What's your hurry, Junior? Thought you liked my office. Uh, I do. But see, I got this thing. Over at this place, and if I don't hurry... <laughs> oh man. Hall monitor duty? Why me? You're the youngest agent we have. Certainly the most immature. Congratulations, Slick. So who are you taking to the prom? Chamber. Scorcher Chamber! Getting in is easy. 
Getting out is end. Scorch your chamber! XB Lightspeeders, charge them up, blaze the track. But can you make it out? All right! In your dreams, kid. Scorch your chamber! XB Racers, Lightspeeders, cars, and Scorch your chamber sold separately. Batteries not included. The last fry! Play up for it. Okay. You better catch up. That was so funny, I forgot to laugh. Two to one for the Ron Man. And two for me. McDonald's has duck toys. Clip them, zip them, flash them. Just don't go overboard. Ah. There's one toy from Doug's first movie, now on video in every Happy Meal you buy. Maybe we should take one off. Did somebody say McDonald's? All the sounds in action of the WCW with the Electronic Nitro Ooh. Wrestling Arena. You activate the sound. Hear the call of the Wolfpack as Kevin Nash struts up the runway. Launch Macho Man from the top turnbuckle. Hit the ropes and hear the action as you fire Goldberg across the ring. It sounds just like I'm at a match. Lower in sting from the Raptors. Hear the count as you pin your opponent. It's the best WCW wrestling Ooh. ring ever. The new WCW Electronic Nitro Wrestling Arena. Figures sold separately. Batteries not included. Who's next? Bruce Wayne. After a long, hard day, it's time for night. Time to get dressed. Hit the town. Drop in on some friends. A little dancing. A midnight smack. And it's lights out. Fighting crime 24-7. The new Batman Superman Adventures. Weekdays after school. Agent J, I've fashioned an array of school supplies that should prove quite handy on your new assignment. For example... Uh, what is it? Why, it's a backpack. I know that, but what freaky thing does it do? Do? Agent J, you put books in it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, what about this here? Looks like a calculator. Yes, it performs calculations. Yo, Doc, I thought you were going to hook me up with some Superfly gear. I can buy this stuff at the drugstore. Can you really? Hmm. I must pay a visit. Well, then, how about this? Push one button for black ink, push the other for red. I know how to work a pen. Hmm. Word of warning, Junior. Narians are masters of disguise. No problem. I'll just keep an eye out for any bookworms with a bad attitude. Did he say bookworms? Or long-lost our peeps. Reunion! I have those papers you wanted, Zed. Somewhere. No. Hmm. No, that's not... Uh... Hmm. Oh, here we go. Suggest you work out a better filing system, Klamek. These forms will facilitate your transfer to Eisenhower High, Mr. Evans. J. Evans, huh? I like that. Where do I sign? Whoa! As I was saying, it comes with black ink, red ink, and a Pentonian particle beam. We're going to look back on this in a couple of years and laugh. Remember, Slick, do nothing to attract attention. Bookworm cousins, here we come. I'm already getting misty. Better the spit and image of me. No one can suspect that you aren't just another high school student. Including Prince Rax. Yo, I was cool for school back in the day, and I am now cooler still. Gonna blend right in. Check him out. Those pants are so last year. Wonder how many times he got left back. <laughs> <laughs> the student formerly known as Prince. Yo, homeroom. <laughs> What's up? Name's Jay Evans. New here. First day's always the hardest. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Probably been there yourself. That's all right, because I got a feeling you and me going to be tight. <laughs> uh, okay, I I'll catch up with you. That's my boy. All right, everyone, pull out a sheet of paper. Trigonometry pop quiz. Oh. Hmm, playing find the aliens in this group's going to be harder than I thought. Worms? <gasps> Pr Principal Klein! Mr. Evans, what a lovely surprise. I was just perusing your transfer papers. 
May I trouble you to inquire why you are running through the halls? I was just, uh, deciding up for football tryouts. <laughs> Want to be an Eisenhower Beaver? Word is you got to get on the list before noon or all the good helmets are gone. Need a, need a pen. Something wrong with the one in your pocket? Uh, well, <laughs> sure, that, that'll work. One button for black ink, one for red. We're not gonna have any problems, are we, Mr. Evans? Oh, uh, no, Zed. Excuse me? I mean, Mr. Klein. <laughs> you just, uh, r reminded me of somebody. Teacher's Lounge. Break time! The three R's. Recess, refreshments, and really strong coffee. <gasps> What's shaking, Granny? Pull up a mug. Wanted to go around. Seen any good bookworms lately? Uh-oh. Horrible-looking things with antennae in the lounge. I'll call the custodian, Mrs. Bennett, and have him spray. <laughs> over here! Look, over here! Hi, Rex. Hi. <laughs> so, Rex, we were wondering, you being so smart and all, if you could, like, tutor us in math. Uh, gee, Amber, I'd like to, but... Uh, what my man's saying is, <laughs> he's TCB 24-7, but Rex can always make room in his schedule for you ladies. Really? Cool! Call you later, Rex. Okay? See that? With a little help from yours truly, you're gonna be Prince Popularity. I don't have time to be Prince Popularity. Finals are coming up, and I need to concentrate on my studies. Studies? Dude must be from another planet. <laughs> Well, if it isn't Rex, our favorite nerd. Yo, why don't you muscleheads go pick on someone your own neck size? You telling me what to do? Nah, because if I was doing that, I'd be speaking much slower so you could keep up. Only your first day, Mr. Evans, and already making friends. Uh, Principal Klein, <laughs> I wasn't starting nothing. No, it's just that these two boys were disrespecting my friend Rex. Oh, I see. And you are what? Rex's bodyguard? Uh, no. <laughs> My office. Five minutes. Hey, Geek. We saw that you signed up for football tryouts. Can't wait to see you there. Hope you got health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Beavers! Hey, Evans. Let's see how you handled the long ball. Can't touch this! <laughs> Take the showers, you two. You've obviously got the good son, but I can do without the showboating. Whatever you say, coach. What are you smiling at? Nothing. Better be nothing, or I'll punch you over the goalpost, you bookworm! Bookworm? Cousin! Hi. How dare those ruffians threaten our kin? Family honor is at stake! <laughs> Vengeance, thy name is coffee! All of it? That's too tough. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> beaver! Big nasty teeth! Don't beavers eat worms? She looks hungry. <laughs> nice outfits, guys. What team you the mascots for? Uh, hi. My man Rex, what's up? I was wondering, where'd you learn to play football like that? Brooklyn born and raised. If you could hit it with a stick or kick it with your foot, you did. You? Where I grew up, we never... Um, I never learned to play sports. Guess it's a little late to start. Never too late. You see that catch? My boy's got skills. <laughs> Heck, I could turn you into a tight end in two weeks. Really? Absolutely. What the... Hello. Uh, how about you meet me out front in about ten minutes? I I'll show you some moves. I'm undercover. What are you doing here? Sticking up for our bookworm cousin. Revenge of the worms! Payback time. Showtime! <laughs> what is it? Coffee? Uh... <laughs> Not here. See that? 
and then you tuck it in like so. Go on, I'll throw you one. Can I try throwing one? Of course you can. <clears throat> oh, how's that? <clears throat> Not bad. Well, this is my humble abode. Uh, live by yourself? With friends of my parents. My family lives in another, um, out of town. Uh, see you tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Hey, Rex. You the man. <laughs> okay, Oliver, you can have one thing. Toys are us. It's all for you. One, two, three. Taiko RC Hot Rocker. Let's rock and roll. Hot Rocker. Radio control. Got a rock and roll bar. Look at that. You just hit the sticks and roll it all the way back. Hot Rocker. Hot Rocker. You won't believe the stunts Hot Rocker can do. Lots of power for outdoors and indoors too. Hot Rocker. So hot it's really cool. Hot Rocker. Tyco. That's how you spell RC. Rocker from Tyco RC. Vehicles sold separately, batteries not included. It's the Cat and Bunny County Kirby, County Kirby, County Kirby, County Kirby, County Kirby, County Kirby. It's the big cartoony show with new host Karen and Kirby. All new today on Kids WB. From across the sea comes a brand new surfing Pikachu. On the second of three Pokemon episodes next on Kids WB. The critics agree. The new Kids WB Afternoon is totally awesome. Samantha, age 10. And little Billy says it's funnier than that time my sister choked on her gum. Weekday afternoon starts with Mummies Alive. Followed by Sonic Underground. Followed by the big cartoony show. Followed by Pokemon. Followed by Batman Superman Adventures with occasional appearances by Believe It or Not, Batman Beyond. Yeah. The new Kids WB Afternoon. Superman is still the coolest superhero. Clark Reporter. Hey, wait a minute. Introducing new frequent phone hours. Use the phone just eight hours a week and get this free phone cradle. Use it 12 hours and get a speaker phone. Use it 15 hours and get this cool headset. Or stay on the phone 20 hours a week and get a pasty complexion, flabby body, and, and a, a great, great new nickname, nickname at school. Exercised lately. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> Write out your will? <gasps> Uh-oh. Wrong pin. Care to do the honors? Awful human of you. Huh? Surprise! Now that the cat's out of the bag... Your picture's in a dictionary next to the word ugly. <laughs> MIB, freeze. MIB? Yo, partner. Uh, you're, you're MIB too? We didn't know. We were just fooling around. Didn't mean anything by it. I've been scoping these two out all along. You kidnap a prince, it comes out of my paycheck. They're not the kidnappers. Say what? Look at them. They're all over Rex. Ambush me? Ambush you? He started it. Yeah, 
iced coffee in our lockers. They're Narian transfer students. Rebellious, yes, but not our rebels. Tell no one, and keep your snouts clean, or I'll call your parents and have you shipped home. Yes, sir. Yo! Forgot your faces. Nice work, Slick. First day of school, your cover's already blown. Now, see, that wasn't my fault. W we got us a worm problem. Uh-huh. And are the worms the reason you're on the principal's naughty list, too? How'd you know about that? Apparently, someone needs to be watching you while you watch Rex. What are you saying? Huh? Morning, class. I'm Mr. K, your substitute science teacher. Need a volunteer to rinse out a few beakers, Mr. Evans? I'm waiting, Mr. Evans. Did you or did you not read the chapter? Uh, yeah, I, I read the chapter. Uh, what you have there is, uh, reflection. Wrong. Now write this down. Refraction is when light or other energy passes through a medium, altering its velocity. Reflection is the simple return of said light or energy from any given surface. Are we clear? Crystal. Take your seat, Mr. Evans. But don't get too comfortable. That guy really has it in for you. You don't know the half of it. Jay! <laughs> hey! I told you worms to beat it! You know how much trouble you've caused? No trouble at all. Our pleasure. Anything to help out a bookworm cousin. We are family. You. you have? Coach called a special practice for after school. We saw you yesterday in the street. I think you should try out for tight end. Me? Really? Totally. <laughs> We'd love to see you get it. <laughs> see? What I've been telling you. You are the man. Guess I am, huh? <laughs> I better get fitted for a uniform. Oh, Evans? Coach said you've been cut from the team. On account of Principal Klein told him you're a troublemaker. <laughs> Shortest football career in history. Hmm? Now I don't care if you crawl, walk, or take the crosstown bus, but you get your wormy butts out of the school and back to MIB uh, right Jane. now. <laughs> yeah. What? 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 Go home, boys. You know the rules about being in public without a disguise. Hmm. Disguise! Principal Klein, I need to go over tomorrow's curriculum with you. Where'd you worms go? Uh, that way, sir. The MIB, too? Sort of. Hey, what are you two up to? Uh, nothing, sir. So how come you're not getting suited up for practice? What practice? No practice today, sir. Sure there is. Amber said... Yo, K! Aliens in the backfield! Did he say aliens? About my tenure. The team will clear the huddle! The captain bought his hat! They all went together and this is what they said! Go, Rex, go! Yay, Rex! Uh, you girls sure there's a practice? Nobody else is showing up. It's cozier this way, don't you think? <laughs> hey, that's a Narian Kectonic Comb Link. Why, yes it is, Prince Rex. And that buzzer means it's time for our big play. <laughs> hey, let go of me! <laughs> MIB, release the prince. <gasps> MIB? <laughs> What the? 
Sure. We're in disguise. What case thou? Coming to the aid of our bookworm cousin. Uh, ah! huh. Ten more seconds, they're going to be riding the visitor's bus out of here. Not if we blow out the tires. Directional force field. Impenetrable from here. Maybe not. Been reading up on that refraction you was yapping about. I do teach C minus huh? that was reflection not refraction cooking tip number one when you finally catch your bird make sure it's cooked before eating Sylvester and Tweety today on kids WB are you ready Get ready, get ready, get ready for the parenthood. All week long, weeknights only on the WB. The truth is not out there. The truth walks among us. For 50 years, the Alliance has worked in absolute secrecy to protect the human race from the aliens among us. But the threat to our planet grows out of control. Humanity's very existence is now endangered by these alien tribes. I will not permit this to happen. Welcome to the Roswell Conspiracies. Every Sunday on Kids WB. We know we can count on you to do what Smokey says. Smokey says! Only you. No, you don't play with matches. That's not cool. Tell mom and dad to break them. Stop them. Yeah, yeah, that's the rule. And when your folks desire to build a fire. Clear brush and branches away. Yeah, 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 yeah. And keep water nearby like you ought to. Did someone say otter? Only you can prevent forest fires. And I'm pleased to report we have the kidnappers in an isolation cell awaiting transport back to Nara for trial. A million thanks for your help, Zed. Are you all right, my son? I'm fine, Father. I'll be home in two months, after football season, okay? <laughs> of course. Farewell, gentlemen. You the man. Ah, <laughs> you the... <laughs> dude. <laughs> Whew, I am glad that's over. Not quite, sport. You have a paper due on Monday. What? We'll help you study. All nighter! Cram session, triple espresso, till dawn! So then I told her she was crazy. And I just walked away. It's like she's the only one who's ever had a boyfriend. Trey is so... So lucky. <gasps> Guys don't have any. Are you listening to me? Of course. Batman Beyond, this Monday on Kids WB. When we got into this preteen haze, our parents told us it was just a phase. Uh -huh. Mom and Dad. To burst your bubble. As long as we're in school, we're gonna get in trouble. It doesn't matter what we do or say, cause the teachers always get their way. When we try to sit and pay attention, we always lose control and wind up in detention. Detention, uh oh. Arnold 
Middle School's award for perfect attendance goes to Shelly Kelly. Oh, oh my goodness! I can't believe it! I'm so happy for you, Shelly. It couldn't have happened to a nicer person. You're my best friend. That's enough, Private Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. That was quite a performance, Private Kelly. Ever thought of taking that show on tour? Jeepers, Miss Caskilia. Do you really think I should? No. Just res in your private. Ha 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 ha. Now pay attention, troops. I have an announcement to make. Elections for class president will be held tomorrow at 1400 hours. Huh? <gasps> That's 2 p.m. Oh. oh. Ah, civilians. Hey, is anyone thinking about running for class president? I am. The only thing you're gonna be running for is your life, Roswell. Well, everyone knows that in the long run, or in your case, the short run, I'd be a better class president. Hey, Sharina, you'd vote for me over Gug, right? Um, Sharina's not even gonna be around to vote. With my super hearing, I heard she's ditching school tomorrow to go to the mall. <gasps> Sharina's ditching school? Nice work, Captain Blabbermouth. Activating clicking device. <sighs> Shelly's gonna go straight to Miss Kiskilia and tell. I won't tell, Sharina. The only way to keep her from telling would be to take her with you. Yeah, right. You mean if I cut class, we could spend the entire day together? Well, I... But then I'd have to give up my perfect attendance record. I knew it, man. Teacher's pet would never cut a day of school. You're one to talk. The only thing you ever cut is the cheese. I would, too, cut class. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Well, okay. I'll ditch school with Sharina, but just to prove to you guys that I can. I am not taking you with me. Well, then I'm sure Miss Caskilia will be very happy to hear about your unscheduled day off. Well, since it's the only way to keep you from telling... We'll be two fugitive girlfriends on the run, just like Thelma and Louise. I promise, you won't be sorry. Ugh. I'm already sorry. <laughs> now, as your campaign managers, we propose that you advocate a political platform that expounds upon your qualifications to be class president. Great. There's only one problem. What's that? I don't have any. Now what? Why don't we just do what the real politicians do? Trash him by making stuff up. You mean a smear campaign? Oh, I don't know. Emmett's our friend, and that's an evil, underhanded, sneaky, and unfair way to win the election. Forget, Forget it. If you don't help me smear him, I'll invent my own really stupid campaign and tell everyone it was your idea and you'll be left out of school. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. Um, okay, Emmett, as your campaign manager, here's my strategy for winning the election. Okay, you be the Flash and I'll be Aquaman. When Gug gets up to give his speech, you run around him really, really fast and I'll ensnare him <laughs> with my net. We'll be laughed off the planet. Okay, what if I'm the mirror master and you're the weather wizard? I'll set up a complex network of reflectors around the school and you create a lightning storm. When the lightning hits the reflectors, kapow! You'll smear them. That's it. We'll create a smear campaign that'll expose Gug for what he really is. An enemy to the superhero Legion of Freedom? No, a secret double agent who is actually working undercover for Miss Kiskilia. But I like Gug. I don't want to lie. If you help me, I'll let you have my Captain <gasps> Universe power ring. Well, okay, but can I still campaign as the Mirror Master? Shelly, over here. Oh, hi, Serena. I'm ready to embark upon our adventure and travel the reckless road to freedom. Whoa! Be quiet. Do you want to get caught before we even get started? Heavens to Betsy, no, silly Willy. Come on. Let's make sure no one has squealed our plan to Miss Kiss Killia. Wow, 
What's this? Privates Wicket and Kelly seem to be missing. Does anyone in this platoon have any knowledge as to the whereabouts of Privates Wicket and Kelly? How about you, soldier? Are you withholding any top secret information? No, sir. Good, because if I find anyone missing in action without a pass, they'll be spending the rest of their academic careers in detention! <laughs> I wish we had some Captain Crunch. As you wish! Captain Crunch? Crunch time! Welcome to Crunch Creek Rapids! Ah. This inflatable crunch will take us for a month! Yeah. It's the crunchy, munchy part of this balanced breakfast! Almost there! Oh. Of my way. my way. It's time to roar into action and fight for survival. Move back! You time. It's Disney's dinosaur for your PlayStation game console. Can you survive it? Ready to You can wear a ring around your finger, hey, Bob. Favorite crab is back, and he's ready for action. That's it. I'm booking myself on a cruise. In Disney's all-new movie, The Little Mermaid 2: Return to the Sea, you can join Sebastian. I'm too old for this. Ariel, Flounder, and Scuttle. This is gonna be some kind of shindig. As they help Ariel's daughter Melody defeat the evil sea witch Morgana. <laughs> Break it up, break it up. The Little Mermaid 2, rated G, only on video and Disney DVD this Tuesday. With battle action sound, just like in the movie, Wolverine and Saber to fight claw to claw. It's Cyclops to the rescue with the X Jet. Storm, rain, atmospheric service. Cyclops fires electronic light up optic blast pistol. Engage optic blast. Yeah. Release claw attack. The X Jet grabs Saber to the tank. Oh, yeah. The X Men X Jet figures in Liberty place and sold separately. Batteries not included. When confronted by a superior opponent, use your brain. Jackie Chan Adventures, all new this Saturday at 9, 8 Central and Pacific on Kids WB. School. Don't be such a chicken, Shelly. Let's just pay and go explore the vast and mysterious wonders of the Oak Forest Mall. Huh. I can't find my wallet. Could you pick this one up, Shelly? I don't have any money. Hey, Marvin, we got a no pay at table five. So, you two don't have any money, huh? That's right, Mr. Marvin, sir. We're broke. Well, what a coincidence. Our dishwasher's broke, too. And there's 200 dirty dishes back in the kitchen just waiting to be scrubbed. After you, ladies. Look! I can see myself! Good. Then you can see what a real geek looks like. Aha! Sharina's wallet, just as I thought. Wickets a wall again. And this time. She's taken Private Kelly hostage. I will get to the bottom of this unauthorized maneuver, or my name isn't Eugenia P. Kiskinia. Benedict Arnold's real traitor. Stop the conspiracy. Vote for Emmett. No way. How did Emmett get a picture of me and Kiskinia together? It looks like he morphed it on his computer. Pretty underhanded and sneaky. Hey, I thought we were supposed to be underhanded and sneaky. Well? 
At least we caught this before it did too much damage. That's what you think. Take a look. <gasps> I got a plan that'll teach that alien chasing geek not to mess with Ramon Fernando Francisco Jose de San Martin Gugliamo. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Great. We don't have any money for the bus. Don't worry, Sharina. You'd be surprised at how kind strangers can be. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Bus Driver, but my friend seems to have misplaced her wallet. Could you possibly give us a ride to... <laughs> so much for the kindness of strangers. I guess we'll just have to walk to them all. It's only three miles. That'll give us plenty of time to share secrets and talk about B-O-Y-F. <laughs> this Love. is going to be the longest three miles of my life. <laughs> hey, Jim, how's it going? Super fantastic, almighty future presidential ruler of Benedict Arnold Middle School. I'm just putting up the last one. Cool, because it's almost time for... What are you doing? Gug signs pack to rid school of detention? Vote for Gug? You're supposed to be my campaign manager. I gave you my trust, my confidence, my Captain Universe ring. What did Gug ever give you? A limited edition Captain Universe action figure with superhero grip. <laughs> superhero grip, huh? Cool. Come on, it's time to launch phase two of our campaign, Operation Wipeout. Huh? Ha! On the summer I spent at Camp Sunshine was super, super fun. That's where I met Henry Higginbotham. Henry Higginbotham? He was dreamy. Except he used to eat bug sandwiches made with beetles and eucalyptus leaves. Ew. Sounds like a real prince. You really think so? Yeah, a frog prince. And then, when I was nine years old, I got to play Juliet opposite Billy Nickerson's Romeo. Oh, he was so cute. Especially when the stage lights reflected off his braces. Jolly! Your stories are almost as boring as being stuck in detention. Detention's not boring, Sharina. I like going, because you never know who Miss Skilia's gonna catch next. Ha! That old gasoline tank, she couldn't catch a cold. <laughs> Wicked. Now, let's start shopping. But what are we gonna buy without any money? Duck! Duck? They sell ducks here? <laughs> it's my mother. If she catches me here, I'll be grounded for the rest of my life. Gee, Sharina, I never realized that ditching school could be so fun. Fun? We're tired, dirty, broke, and stuck under a clothing rack watching Glinda the Good Witch shop for pedal pushers. Well, it could be worse. There's nothing that could possibly make it any worse. Well, hello, Mrs. Wicked. Oh, hello, Miss Kiskilia. I stand corrected. Just doing a little wardrobe shopping. I'm hoping to surprise Sharina. Well, what a coincidence. As a matter of fact, so am I! before Kiskilia catches us. And set up a dragnet if you have to. I want that fugitive and her prisoner back in my custody within the hour, or I'll have your badges for breakfast. Do you read me? Loud and clear, clear sir. Ah. <laughs> Is 
Sharina, do you think we should have pressed all the buttons at the same time? It doesn't matter. As long as we don't get... Stop! Hot Wheels, think you got what it takes to hang with Tony Hawk? Boom! You do not. New Hot Wheels Extreme Skateboarders. A supercharged electric motor and killer kickback action means the monster tricks never end. Drop it at the skate park. And these guys have more backside, forward slide, and tail grind in action than you can shake your stick at. Sledhead, Sidekick, Grinder, and Flyboy. New Extreme Skateboarders from Hot Wheels. New XB Extreme Skate Park comes with one border. You put it together. Other XB Extreme Skateboarders sold separately. Batteries not included. <laughs> What did she say? Gug. Mrs. Butterworth's in three new squeezable flavors? You probably eat it. Only two men were brave enough to find the lost city of gold. Ah! On March 31st, fetch! They're going to horse around, have a ball, and let the fun begin. I love this game! From DreamWorks Pictures. We'll follow that trail. You drank the seawater, didn't you? The Road to El Dorado. Your horse bit me in the butt! Rated PG. Starts Friday, March 31st, everywhere. No, no, you must feel the music. Feel the music. Give me a break. Whoa! Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Get your pencils ready. Because this week's answer in the Pokemon Big Screen Adventure is Bulbasaur. For a chance to win your very own Pokemon screening room, mail your answer on a postcard along with your name, address, age, and phone number to Big Screen Adventure, P.O. Box 8502, Calabasas, California, 91372. Or just go to kidswb.com to enter. Runners-up receive Pokemon, the first movie, home videos, or a case of Cheetos X's and O's. The Pokemon Big Screen Adventure on Kids WB. McGinnis, get out of there now! Hurry! Ah! There! Block now! Ugh. McGinnis, what are you doing? Ugh. And you thought you were stressed out. Batman Beyond, all new, next on Kids WB. I should really switch to DK. Attention all Zelinskis! Hold on to your seat. You're in for a wild ride. Are you sure this is safe? Honey, have you ever known me to test out an invention that wasn't safe? Are you nuts? Yeah, yeah. Totally weird. What is going on? Awesome! Sure, there's undoubtedly a very logical explanation for all of this. Which would be... Honey, I shrunk the kids! <gasps> the TV Show. Today at noon on Seattle's WB22. Hey! Chip! How about some cookie crisp? Yeah! Uh-oh. Cookies are not for breakfast! Oh, yeah? Look, I'm the teacher and the answer's no! It's hard to say no to the big chocolate chip cookie taste of cookie crisp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss Perkins? You can't have cookies for breakfast! Chocolatey tasting cookie crisp, the part of a good breakfast that's got everyone howling. Cookie crisp. crisp, the one with the big chocolate chip cookie taste. Class President, I promise to secure the campus against any potential alien invasions or government conspiracies. Thank you. 
Oh, and by the way, Gug sucked his thumb until he was eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, how about that time we went to that scary movie and you wet your pants? <laughs> I spilled my drink. You didn't have a drink. You're just a big old wuss. Oh, yeah? Well, if I'm the wuss, how do you explain this? <laughs> That's low, man. My sisters needed help with their sewing project. Who would you guys rather vote for? Me or an alien chasing nose picker? This is getting ugly. We better call in the debate coach. Too late. Better call in the wrestling coach. We're here live at the Oak Forest Mall to bring you this late-breaking story. Two unidentified girls have been trapped inside a mall elevator. We now bring you this exclusive footage from the elevator cam inside the elevator itself. So, think you can escape interrogation, huh? Wicked, good thing you're in an elevator, cause you're going down. We have to find a way out of here. I gave up my perfect attendance record to ditch with you today. And for what? Washing dishes and getting stuck in a stupid old elevator? This has been the worst day of my life! Somebody get me out of here! <sighs> Stand aside, men. I'll handle this. Gotcha! Wicket may have won this battle, but the war is not over yet. We are so busted. What do we do now? Yeah, you guys are our campaign managers. Get us out of this mess. No way! It's your fault we're in this predicament! We didn't want to be any part of this smear campaign in the first place! You forced us! Yeah, and not only did I do stuff I didn't want to do, I made two of my best friends mad at me. Hmm. But at least I got some pretty cool stuff out of it. Oh, no you didn't! Well, it seems as if you boys and your campaign managers smeared yourselves right out of the election. You've both been disqualified. Wait here. I'll be right back. Oh, man. This stinks. I guess it was our own fault. Yeah, I shouldn't have run such a nasty campaign against you. I became my worst nightmare. A conspirator. Well, I wanted to win so bad, I got a little carried away, too. The next campaign we run will be based on truth, honesty, and integrity. Just like our principal, Mr. McQueen, runs this school. Lamangela, we're in enough trouble already. Let's not add perjury to the list. Hey, guys. What are you two doing here? It was so cool. We totally outsmarted Miss Kiss Kilia. First, we ditched her in the Republic, and then we lost her in the mall. And just when she thought she had us cornered, we climbed up and escaped to the top of the elevator. Uh, uh Sharina? Not now, Shelly. I wish I could have seen the look on that old dinosaur's face when she realized we got away. <laughs> but the best part is that Kiss Kilia has absolutely no proof. Well, I do now, Private. <sighs> You're in detention for a whole week, sister. And as an added bonus, Saturday school. I suppose you know that I was with her the whole time, Miss Kaskilia. You bet I do, Private. And you're to be commended for your acts of bravery during a hostage situation. And as for the rest of you slackers, you're all in violation of Regulation 8842-D, concealing information regarding a soldier who breaks rank without a pass. You've all got detention! Keep up the good work, troops. There's nothing more satisfying than a hard day's work. Keeps you honest. When you're finished here, Private Wicket, report to the cafeteria. The dishwasher broke, and there are stacks of lunch trays that need scrubbing. Ha 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 ha! I told her that you had a lot of practice washing dishes. Thanks. You're a real friend. Sharina, next time you're gonna ditch class, do us all a favor. What's that? Don't, Don't tell, tell us about it. it. Well, next time you guys run for office, do me a favor. What's, What's that? that? Don't. 
Okay, okay, I got one. Next time you guys want me to help you with something, or tell me a secret, or want me to do something with you... Don't worry, we won't. Um, good, because a true superhero doesn't buckle under pressure. Like the time that Superman almost gave up his personal Troops, I have an important announcement to make. Huh? Uh, uh, What's the meaning of this deal? What? Rerouting my troops without official permission? I don't have time for you, Eugenia. I'm in the middle of an audition for our production of Hamlet. Uh, just what we need. Another dorky play like Annie. You can't compare Hamlet to Annie. Hamlet was one of the greatest tragedies ever written. Did you ever see Annie? I'm warning you, Millard. These kids are trouble. If you put them in your play, you will have a disaster on your hands. Be that as it may, Mr. McQueen has specifically requested that I involve them in this production for rehabilitative purposes. I'm in charge of them now. For those of you less familiar with the works of Shakespeare, Hamlet is the story of the young prince of Denmark, who is visited by the ghost of his dead father. <gasps> ghost and dead father? Cool. It's a dark and sinister tale of cruelty, deception, and insanity that explores the weaknesses of the human mind and its potential for evil, greed, and most of all, revenge. Mercy! Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, final auditions and casting will take place first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, <laughs> Millard. You want these kids so bad, you got them. But your production of Hamlet's going to be a real tragedy. <laughs> hey, Gog, check out my science hey. project. Whoa, man. That's intense. Yeah, it took me a whole month to build. Can you guard this for a minute? I forgot something in my locker. Be careful, it's super fragile. Okay, okay, I get the picture. <gasps> ah! I need a Katina Cosa. Get lost, pig. Whoa, man, and it's gonna kill me. <gasps> What are you doing? Oh, uh, I was just working on my boxing. <laughs> Let's go. I can't wait to present this in school tomorrow. It's gonna be a smash. You can see that again. This play is totally awesome, you guys. When Hamlet rejects his girlfriend Ophelia, she goes insane with grief and drowns herself. Then Hamlet fights Ophelia's brother with a poisoned sword. How cool is that? Sounds like... A job for Hot Man! <laughs> What's the matter with you two? 
You're missing the whole point of the play, Sharina. Hamlet typifies how horribly people behave when they get hurt and want to seek revenge. You mean like when Jeff Napier got thrown into a vat of acid and became the Joker, sworn enemy of the Cape Crusader? Exactly. Hey, I finally got one right. Woohoo! Well, all I know is that I was born to play this part, and I'm gonna get it no matter what it takes. Come on, pig, we've got rehearsing to do. To be or not to be, that is the question. Everyone's a critic. Sharina, hurry up, Cupcake, or you'll be late for school. Larry, dear, I've been meaning to talk to you about this phase Sharina's been going through. It's so, so drab. Tis not alone my inky cloak, good mother, nor customary suits of solemn black, together with all forms, moods, shades of grief that can denote me truly. Now, Sharina, what did your father and I tell you about quoting those grunge lyrics at the breakfast table? It's not grunge, mother. It's Shakespeare. Well, Shakespeare never sounded like that when your father and I were in school. Your mother's right, Pumpkin. Remember our senior play, dear? How could I forget, Schnookums? <laughs> do you two have to do this so early in the morning? It's killing my appetite. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. The son of who? Frankenstein? Oh, Romeo! Romeo! Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Thanks a lot, Mom and Dad. That was quite a performance. You've given new meaning to the phrase, foul play. See ya! Now, what do you think she meant by that? I'm not sure, dear, but I think we just got pinned. Oh. What's that, Emmett? Expecting aliens for lunch again? Ha ha ha! For your information, it's my science project. A diorama of the universe showing all the possible sites where extraterrestrial life may exist. Neat. Oh, Emmett, can we see it? Oh, please, 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 please. Well, okay, but be forewarned. You may find the number of hostile alien civilizations that are in close proximity to Earth both shocking and terrifying. Catch me if I faint, Shelly. Whoa! <gasps> What's so funny? Are you sure your project wasn't designed to illustrate interplanetary collisions? What do you mean? It looks like something exploded in your little universe. Whoa! How'd this happen? Maybe there was an intergalactic war between this little piece of squished styrofoam and this broken ping pong ball. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry, Emmett. Hey, wait a minute. It was Gug. He deliberately sabotaged my science project. I'll find a way to get even with that little twerp. Nobody conspires against Emmett Roswell and gets away with it. Nobody! What do big kids want? More concerts. More autographs. More videos. More food. Big kids want to be treated like big kids. So you can come to Burger King and get a Burger King Big Kids meal with more great tasting food, fun, and a cool toy. Fans show up. It's the Baxter Project Cyber Crusaders. You can get one in every Burger King Kids meal you buy. Told you we should have snuck up. Case rules! Stay out of my way! my way! It's time to roar into action and fight for survival. Move it! You move it, Bruton! It's Disney's Dinosaur for your PlayStation game console. Can you survive it? Ready to What? You never pushed a push pop? Where have you been, man? Saturn? You push push pop? You never pushed a push pop? You don't know what your mouth is missing. Push a push pop on the bridge with flavor. Push it down, raise up the Push a great safety push pop!
spookier than a shadow card. It's Mei Lin. Don't even go there with me, Sakura. Card captors. All new next on Kit WB. Hey, what a grouch. Buzz! He's your worst nightmare. Somebody stop that kid! And Mario's big brother. No! Catch Buzz on Generation O. Today at 4.30 on Kids WB. Don't you have some math to do? In a minute! Why wait? Math helps us analyze data, track patterns. Invest in our future. And algebra gives us a way to make sense of information. To solve problems. Using geometry, we can design anything. It's so cool. We can change things. Make better things. Invent new things. Started on your math yet? Yeah. yeah. Do math, and you can do anything. Ooh, she's the magic one. It's the magic one. When you go to go to some party, Sabrina, you will talk about being young, having fun. You know that you are trying to stand behind Sabrina. Always gonna watch every day. That's a special treat. If you tell me love, every day, five days a week. Mine, 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 Sabrina. Got it. <laughs> Alright people, it's time to announce the assignment of roles. The parts of Hamlet's companions, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, will be played by Lamangela and Arangela LaBelle. How cool does that be, sister? The part of Ophelia will be played by Shelley Kelly, <laughs> and the part of her father Polonius by Jim Kim. Jeepers, Jim! That makes you my father! If I was in the same gene pool as Shelley, I'd get out of the water. Mr. Roswell and Mr. Bubble, I'm designating you to be house managers. You're in charge of the set and props. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now for the final order of business. Miss Wicket and Mr. Guglielmo will audition for the role of Hamlet. Take the stage, Mr. Guglielmo. To be or not to be, man? Whoa, that is the question. To grunt mm, and sweat. To sleep, perchance to dream. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Guglielmo. Next. For my audition, I shall perform a new poem that I composed myself, entitled, Muck. <clears throat> Muck. Shall I compare thee to gristle and slime, rotting eggs and decomposing grime? By any other name, could never smell as foul. She's rather good. A little too good, if you ask me. Alas, most putrid substance, take flight! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Bravo, Miss Wicket! You were brilliant! You've got the part! Yes! No! That little maneuver is going to cost you an extra detention detail, Private Wicket. I am disqualifying you from the play. Nonsense, Eugenia! This is the theater, not the barracks. You have no power here. Oh, yes, I do, Millard. I found an obscure regulation in the school district code book that strictly prohibits a detentionee from performing in the school play. Then who, may I ask, is going to play the role of Hamlet? Hmm, let's see. Private Ramon Guglielmo. Me? Him? He I got, got the, the lead? lead? That's ridiculous, Eugenia. He's completely wrong for the part. That's your problem. And as for the rest of you slackers, return to your homerooms immediately before I really lose my temper and someone gets a love punch. <laughs> better than he was. Gug can't even act his age. I'm sorry, Sharina, but rules are rules. Maybe this will make you feel better. What is it? My autograph. I'm a star. <laughs> yeah, a star dork. You only got the part because I got disqualified. Oh, yeah? Well, I can play the part ten times better than you, and I'll prove it. <clears throat> to be or not to be. That is the question. Well, I'll say one thing for Gug. What's that? 
He's really gonna put the ham in Hamlet. Ugh! This is a total bummer. Don't worry, Sharina. I'm sure Mr. Beale will find some way to get you back into the play. Hmm. Maybe he won't have to. I've got a plan that's sure to get back a Gug and Miss Kiskilia and show them both who really deserves a part of Hamlet. Hmm. I don't know if that's such a good idea, Sharina. Grandmother Kelly always says, if you seek revenge, it may seek you. And you know what that means. It means that dorkiness is hereditary, Shelly. Just leave everything to me. When that curtain goes up, something else is going to be going down. Oh, Sharina, it's great they let you back in the play. Yeah, but I look like a total... Duncan! No, up here! Do me a favor, catch the scroll! There, that ought to do it. When my secret plan goes into effect, Gug's gonna be in for the surprise of his life. I've got everything set up for the stooge. I, I mean, the stage. You'll be here, and I'll be sitting up in the rafters. When I give you the signal, pull these strings. Got it? This rope is connected to the main frame of the set. When you pull it at the end of the play, it's gonna bring down the house. Literally. <laughs> hey, I heard Kiskili let you back in the play. But we're performing Hamlet, not Don Quixote. <laughs> <laughs> you slay me. Hey, Gug, what do you say we bury the hatchet? Let bygones be bygones. What gives, man? I don't trust you. You must be up to something sneaky. I'm not, I swear. I'll even let you use my skull tonight for good luck. It's right over there in the dressing room. Really? I don't see it. Teaching you and Miss Kiskilia a lesson. Get me out of here, man. I go on in five minutes. Correction. I go on in five minutes. This stinks. Where's Gug? We can't start to play without the lead character. Heavens! Maybe someone else can play the part, Mr. Beale. But who else knows all the lines? Ahem. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. Hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be great! Revenge is so sweet! Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, the role of Hamlet will not be played by Ramon Gugliamo. Huh? Instead, the part will be played by Sharina Wicket. Wicket? Something's rotten in the state of Benedict Arnold Middle School, and I'm going to find out what it is. Isn't this exciting, Larry? Our little Sharina Ballerina is a star. Yeah. Sharina's playing Hamlet. tuned for these words from our lovely sponsor. Way to kiss up, Doc. An all-new season of Men in Black begins with a fight. We have a live one. Agents J and K are back in black. Slick. And they've got backup. Agent X is a seasoned officer. Are you insane? All-new Men in Black this Saturday at 8, 7 Central and Pacific on Kids WB. This is very good. As America makes its trampoline debut in the Summer Olympics, Jennifer Perilla knows just how important calcium is for strong and healthy bones. Without strong bones, Jenny couldn't be the youngest world-ranked trampolinist at age 19. Weight-bearing exercise and a balanced diet with calcium-rich foods, as found in cheese, are key to Jennifer's strategy. Portrait of Jenny, living the Olympic dream. Dragon Ball Z, the saga continues. Cosmic Eve of the Sun Rise. You and your friends are Earth's only hope. Will Goku and Sub Super Saiyan power be enough this time? Gohan's in danger. Until Team Dragon Ball Z joins the fight. But wait, it's 
who brings us. The earth is still in trouble. Your friends are in for the price of their life, but you won't let them down. The fate of the world depends on it. Each so separately. Hello? She's got jackets and buckets. She majors in running a bill. But it's hard to be perfect when you live in Beverly Hills. She's got the blue blue. Oh, gosh. Five days a week. She's got the blue blue. It's hard saying she. Okay. As if. It's so tough having it easy. Clueless. Five days a week. She's got the blue blue. Whatever. You're watching WBKI. Kentuckiana's WB34, Cable 7. Hamlet hath, my lord, of late made many tenders of his affection to me. Uh, affection? Um, you speak like a green lantern. Mercy, Mr. Kim. The line is you speak like a green girl, not a green lantern. Hamlet is a tragic hero, not a superhero. Hark, Father. <coughs> the footsteps of the noble world now. Farewell, Ophelia, and remember well what I have said to you. For thine own self, seek truth. Justice and the American way! <laughs> <laughs> I'm ruined. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> no, don't! Of outrageous fortune. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> or to take arms against a sea! <laughs> of troubles. Yikes! <clears throat> <clears throat> Whoa! I guess those karate lessons paid off. <sighs> uh, hi, Sharina. Emmett, you dork! Why are you messing up my performance? I wasn't trying to mess you up. I was trying to sabotage Gug for ruining my science project. Never mind. I'll get even with you later. Right now, I have a play to finish, and no one's gonna stop me. Except for me. Gug, where have you been? The Wicked Witch of the West over here locked me in the costume shop so she could play my part. Nice espionage work. Prepare to defend yourself, imposter to the throne. A guard. Huh? A guard. Take that, you half pint Hamlet wannabe. Nice try, senorita. Now prepare to meet your fate at the hands of Ramon Fernando Francisco Jose de San Martin Gugliamo, the third. Allah! Take that, you low-down, sneaky costume shop door-locking part stealer! <gasps> Sabotage Emmett's science project. I didn't sabotage Emmett's stupid science project. Touche! Ha! You missed me! <laughs> well, if you didn't sabotage Emmett's science project, who did? Your dumb old pet pig. He sat on it. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want Sharina to get into trouble. You did that for me? Great. Now I feel bad that I tried to steal the part away from you. So let's get this straight. Emmett sought revenge on Gug for something Pig did, but got revenge on Serena by mistake? Who was trying to get revenge on Gug for taking her part in the play. Exactly. exactly. 
Okay, okay, my turn. And then Lex Luthor got revenge on Superman because he wanted to take over the world and get a date with Lois Lane, and... Wait a minute, you guys. It would have been smarter to talk things out. Instead, we've all been seeking revenge on each other, and what did it get us? Nothing. Except a pair of pants with a lot of wear and tear. And an acting career that's all washed up. I guess Shelly's grandmother was right after all. Revenge only breeds more revenge. Very profound, Wicket. Now explain why you were out there on that stage playing Hamlet. And what's this rope doing here? It's dangerous. <laughs> Run for it! Oh, ah! Bravo, Eugenia. The play was a smashing success. You were sensational, Miss Kaskilia. You've got real star quality. And you've all got it, too. Star quality? No. Detention! <laughs> all right, Trumps. Dismissed. By the way, Anna, I never got a chance to apologize for pig ruining your science project. Apologize? He should be thanking you. Thanking me? For what? Gug helped me relabel it as a diorama of the Big Bang Theory, and I got an A+. Well, I guess Shakespeare was right when he professed that a beneficial situation will arise from a series of events that terminate meritoriously. Huh? huh? All's well that ends well. Man versus Machine, Digital Justice, Batman Beyond, all new this Saturday at 11, 10 Central and Pacific on Kids WB. This fall, Max Steel is back <laughs> with faster wheels. I think my ride here. Badder bad guys. This isn't the same old claw. And the occasional building eating fungus. Okay, that's gross. No! Max Steel, all new this Saturday at 11.30, 10.30 Central and Pacific on Kids WB. Sitting side by side. You're not playing head to head. Head to head football puts you face to face. Pick your place. Pass. Going deep. Safety play. Run. <laughs> Kick. Field goal. Maneuver your players with dual rollerball control. Boom. Crunching sound. Touchdown. No way. An instant replay. Touchdown. If you're not playing head to head, you're offside. Head to head football. Batteries not included. Cool, cool.
clothes in my new fashion boutique. I'm always on the go now, so I have to look just right. My store has lots of fashions, slip them on for day or night. Pretty glam, Lila. Add clothes for more fun, like the beach or football game. Once I step behind that curtain, I never come out. The new fashion Polly Boutique has 15 fashion pieces. Beach and school sets sold separately. This Sunday night, you are going to be in Poke Heaven. This Sunday night is your chance to see the world premiere sneak peek of M2M's new music video, Don't Say You Love Me. Featuring music and footage from Kids WB Presents Pokemon, the first movie. Prepare to enter Poke Heaven. The Pokemon music video sneak peek during 7th Heaven Beginnings this Sunday night on the WB. Karen sees the world through rose-colored glasses. Kirby sees the world in a slightly different way. The Big Cartoony Show with Karen and Kirby, today on Kids WB. Kids WB is secretly replacing Sylvester's favorite yellow snack with another yellow creature. Can he tell the difference? Yeah! Ooh, that would be a yes. The Sylvester and Tweety Mysteries, except no substitutes, today on Kids WB. Four dash twenty two dash seven dot B. Shoes with heels higher than two inches are against regulation. 4 22 7. C. Video games, skateboards, and yo yo's are prohibited on school grounds. 4 22 7. D. Private bubbles. Saved by the bell again. Hold it right there, Guglielmo. Whatever it is, I didn't do it, I swear. No, 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 you've got it all wrong, Private. I just want to have a word with you. How about the word, adios? Now, we both recognize the importance of following rules, don't we, Private? I guess so. I mean, I never collect my $200 before I pass go. Good, good. So, if someone were to break a rule, you'd see it as a serious infraction, a direct assault on the very principles that this great country is based on, wouldn't you? Uh... Outstanding. Because it's come to my attention that certain parties are taking advantage of my kind and generous nature by breaking rules when I'm not around. And they have got to be stopped. W what are you gonna do about it? The question, Private Guglielmo, is what are you gonna do about it? Okay. I'm promoting you to Sergeant at Arms, official hall monitor, effective immediately. No way, man. I know, Snitch. My friends will hate me. Nonsense, Private. I see how those other kids treat you, teasing you about your size, never listening to anything you have to say. That's not true. They're my friends. Why don't you pick Shelly? Nobody likes her anyway. Exactly. I need someone they trust who can undermine the inner power circles of the student body. <sighs> now I want you to study those rule books and cite anyone who violates a regulation. I'll expect a complete report on my desk by Friday. And what if I don't? Eternal detention! Now get out there and fight the good fight. Mmm, <sighs> I smell victory. I smell it too, and it stinks. And here's the master key. It opens every door in the school. Hey, Gug, what Miss Caskill you want? Did you get totally busted? Worse, I got totally trusted. She promoted me to sergeant at arms. Bummer, dude. The good news is, Kiskiria gave me the master key. The bad news is, now I'm gonna have to boss you guys around. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You are. Like, anyone's gonna listen to a small fry like you anyway. <laughs> yeah, Sergeant Shrimp. 
<laughs> oh yeah! Well, you guys don't know who you're messing with. I'm gonna be the toughest sergeant at arms that Benedict Arnold's ever had. Or my name isn't Ramon Fernando Francisco Jose de San Martin Gugliamo, the third. What's with Duncan? Uh, he's trying to master a new yo-yo trick called the Web of Treachery. No one in the world's ever been able to do it. What's so treacherous about it? Wow. <laughs> Forget I asked. Hey, Serena. What are you doing? Planning a party for Saturday night. Ooh, how exciting. I just adore parties. Can I come over early and give you a new hairdo? No way, Shelly. Last time you did my hair, it looked more like a scare-do. Well, how was I supposed to know you shouldn't use flammable hairspray with hot rollers? Am I invited? Am I invited? Of course, Jim. How else would we be able to play pin the tail on the dorky? you home from school already? No, Mother. It's the Galloping Gourmet come to whisk you off to the land of eternal cheeriness. Oh, really, Sharina? Must you always be such a gloomy gussie? Hello, Pumpkin. How was school today? <laughs> Informatively dull. Mwah. Hello, dear. Now, remember, Sharina, your father and I are going out to dinner Saturday night for our anniversary. Fifteen happy years. And you're just as handsome as the day I married you. And you're just as charming. <laughs> <laughs> we're counting on you to obey all the rules we've discussed while we're out of the house. No tying up the phone <laughs> talking to your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No television after 9 o'clock. And no parties. Yeah, right. No parties? What a dumb rule. I guess there's only one thing we can do about it. Break it! What do you think you're doing? Duh. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm getting my books for first period. But the bell rang 15 seconds ago. So? So, you just violated Regulation 45-6B, loitering in the hall without a pass. I'll alert the media. As the newly appointed sergeant at arms, I'm gonna have to write you up. <sighs> One more stunt like that, I'm gonna have to write you off. For good. Yeah! Come on! Come on, and Duncan! Yeah, you can do it. Uh... Hold it right there, Duncan. That yo-yo is in violation of code 4-22-7.se. I'm going to have to put you on report. Holy crackdowns, Commissioner. Even the Joker wouldn't rat on his friends, and he's the meanest supervillain ever. Rules are rules. I'm just standing up for what's right. Standing up? I thought you were sitting down. <laughs> you guys are going on report, too. For what? Making fun of the long arm of the law. You mean the short arm of the law? <laughs> <laughs> you won't think it's so funny when I turn in my report and you all get detention. See you later, partners. What was that all about? I'm not sure, but I think we just got written up by Wyatt Twerp. He's worse than the CIA. He's got to be stopped. We'll figure out what to do about him later. Right now, I've got to plan a party. Gee, for Serena, your party's gonna be oodles of fun. Who's invited? Everyone. Yeah, everyone except me. Breakfast is almost ready. Just another minute. <laughs> Dad, how about now? New Lunchables Waffles! Dippin' sticks with syrup, scrumptious sausage, even tang! If I can jump! <laughs> New 
Oh, Lunchables waffles and pancakes. Make fun of lunch and breakfast. Is it my imagination? Are we going like one mile an hour? What's going on here? Oi, geezer! What? Our flight's in ten minutes. Well, we better hurry, then, didn't we? <laughs> buckle up, boys! Buckle up! Come on, oh. mate! So let's face the facts. I'm hot. You're hot. Who wants to pet me? Crash Team Racing. Once he gets behind the wheel, things get ugly. You and me. Booyah, Grandma. Booyah. PlayStation. This week, Kids WB is treating you to Halloween cartoons in the afternoon. Instead of seeing the regular big cartoony show, you'll see all the big cartoony stars in super spooky Halloween specials. Regular episodes of Pokemon are being taken to the Pokevet, so you can see the really scary ones. And regular episodes of Batman Beyond and the Batman Superman adventures are being replaced with... Wait a minute, they're not being replaced. Those things are always scary. It's Super Spooky Afternoons, starting Monday on Kids WB. The biggest battle of the season, the Pokemon League competition, is coming to Kids WB, and you can get an exclusive sneak peek of the upcoming battles this Monday night during 7th Heaven. Who are the newest trainers? What new Pokemon are they battling? And what new attacks will lead them to victory? Find out by watching the Kids WB Pokemon League competition preview during an all-new 7th Heaven on the WB Monday night. Introducing Nacho Fiesta Chex Mix. Nacho cheese, savory spices, Chex Mix. Takes Nami to extremes. Beast Wars! New Giant Megatron! New Giant Tiger Hawk! Triple the might, triple the terror! Without change, there is no victory! New Megatron and new Tiger Hawk, each sold separately. Wanna blast a 20 dart blaze? Wildfire! Fire one at a time or launch 20 darts? Wildfire! 30 pumps and you're blasting! So if you wanna blast 20 darts, ah! it's Nerf or nothing! Nerf Wildfire fires 20 darts! Party, and I'm trying to get out of here before... Hi, Serena! Little Bo Creep sees me. Hi, Envy Poo! What you doing? Well, I was just about to bet Jim that he can't jump the steps. Bet you I can. Okay, then. Prove it. Okay, then. I will. <clears throat> Determined to defy the evil arch-villain, Super Jim revs up his super skateboard for the jump of the millennium. Oh, Jim, that was a totally gnarly jump. What do you call it? Uh, an accident. <gasps> All right, drop that skateboard and put your hands where I can see them. Huh? You heard me, face down on the ground. Um, what's going on, Gug? You're all being cited for violating regulation 4-22-7.6, skateboarding on school grounds. But I wasn't skateboarding, Mr. Sergeant-at-Arms, sir. I was just... Tell it to the judge, ma'am.
There. That should do it. Hey, you guys. What are you doing? Finishing up the invitations for Serena's party. But you're using a school computer. So? School was out hours ago. Use of school property for personal business, whether or not school is in session, is strictly prohibited and against regulation. I'm gonna have to write you up. Gug, you're being a duplicitous, conniving informer with a propensity for reporting occurrences that vilify others. Huh? You're, you're a, a tattletale. tattletale! Just doing my job, ladies. This has gone too far. What are we gonna do about it? We'll talk about it tonight when we meet about the party. As you all know, there's a tremendous evil that lurks in our midst. Lex Luthor's here? Where? Where? Oh, no, doofus, I'm talking about Gug. He, he wrote, wrote us both up at lunch today. For what? 324-D. Contaminating a lunch tray with our retainers. Oh, look, at that power crazy. look at all these citations. I've been busted more times in the classroom windows that face the baseball field. We should be Gug at his own game by forcing him to break a rule. Yeah. 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 Then it's agreed. We'll teach Gug a lesson he'll never forget. <laughs> well, all I have left to do is hand out the invitation. Hold it right there, evil cat ah! women. Uh. What do you think you're doing, Jim? Jim? There's no Jim here. Only the Winged Wonder, here to protect the Earth from your sinister feline takeover. Wow. Well, you better help me pick up these invitations or I'll personally see to it that the Winged Wonder takes a nosedive. Um, okay, Serena. <gasps> Uh-oh. Now what's wrong? One of the invitations, um, accidentally slipped under the door of the teacher's lounge. Well then, why don't you accidentally go in there and get it? It's locked. Well, what if a teacher finds it and it gets back to my parents that I'm having a party? It'll ruin everything. Shh, here comes the Paquito Bandito. Very funny. Actually, I'm really happy that you're here, Gug. I mean, Mr. Sergeant at Arms. Do you think you could possibly let us into the teacher's lounge with your master key? Ha! Nice try, Sharina. But everyone knows that a student entering the teacher's lounge is strictly against the rules. No way. Now what, our great one? Let's go around the back of the building. I have an idea. Just a little higher, you guys. Uh, Hurry up, will you? Even Superman couldn't hold up this much weight. I'm doing my best. Best 24 point B, trespassing in the teacher's lounge. When I turn in this report to Miss Kiskilia, you're gonna get Saturday school for sure. But I can't go to Saturday school. My party's this weekend. You should have thought of that before you broke into the teacher's lounge. Gug, if you'll just let me explain, I can. What was that all about? Sergeant Sardine struck again. At ease, Sergeant. Do you have the report? Yes, sir. I mean, ma'am. Good work, soldier. By tomorrow afternoon, this room will be filled with slackers who don't know how to follow the rules. <laughs> Way to go, Gug. What do you mean? Sharina only climbed through the window to the teacher's lounge because one of her invitations accidentally slid under the door. And she didn't want her parents to find out about the party. So, why should I care? I'm not invited to her stupid old party anyway. It was your invitation. You mean Sharina was going to invite me after all? I overheard your meeting and I thought you guys were just trying to set me up. Um, we were, see? We swiped your gym shoes so you'd have to go to Fizz Ed in your street shoes. Thanks to you, no one's going to get to go to the party now. Ouch! Even Wonder Woman's silver bracelets couldn't have deflected that one. I wish there was some way to make up for it. Yeah, but once Miss Kiskilia reads your report... That's it! The report! I gotta get it back from Miss Kiskilia before she reads it. Loosen up your laugh muscles because the big cartoony show is next. And then time for a little super sleuthing with the Sylvester and Tweety Mystery. Both today on Kids WB.
The Pokemon League games have begun! We finally made it to the Pokemon League, Pikachu! Pikachu! But Ash will need all his skill and courage to defeat his first <laughs> opponent! Ash, you're shaking! The battle for the championship! The Pokemon League games begin! Next weekend on Kids WB! This weekend, the WB11 gets a little personal. First, single mom seeks nice guy with good job. Hey, burn it along! You're on! Must be a good listener. And go crazy for kids. Three men and a little lady. Then, single guy seeks compassionate woman. Must have a way with words. And be totally honest. That's personal. Look who's talking. Sucker. Hey, it's a match made in movie heaven. Tomorrow at 3 on the WB11. A new driver. The family couldn't be happier. I'll drive you. <sighs> Seventh Heaven Beginnings. Tomorrow at 7 on the WB11. The Pokemon time is 3 p.m. Calling all Pokemon trainers. Pikachu. Pokemon number 25. Fight Electric. Squirtle. Charmander. Team Rocket. We're here to get your Pokemon. Pikachu, I choose you. It's becoming Raichu. I don't want to end up as cat food. Dinner. Pokemon catching makes you hungry. Animated Sea Watches and Fobs, each sold separately from Trend Masters. We got two. Oh, we love Penny Nuts here, Okay, kids, Mom is the big bowl. Honey Nut Cheerios taste like honey. My mommy and daddy love the nutty little O's, just like I do. And honey is sweet, just like you. Are you full? Don't worry, mom will eat it. It's Honey Avino. It's Honey Nut Cheerios. And squad, step aside. Hmm? Nintendo brings you new player's choice titles for $39.95. And N64 for $99.95. Get million sellers like Zelda, 1080, Yoshi, Banjo-Kazooie, and WCW vs. NWO. With deals like these. You can play till it hurts. Thank you for shopping, Nintendo. Got it! <coughs> I sure hope Miss Kiskilia hasn't read that report yet. Huh. And here's the master key. It opens every door in the school. Cool, she's asleep. Gee, Willikers, Gug! What are you doing in Miss Kaskilia's office? The tank was totaled when I got here. Huh? Oh, why, uh, who? Well, well, if it isn't my two favorite soldiers. What's that in your hand, Guglielmo? Uh, nothing, Miss Kiskilia. I might have suspected that you'd weaken, just like the rest of the undisciplined infantry. Now, hand over that report. Nothing doing. Come on, Guglielmo. I know you're hiding that report from me. Let me have it. Ooh, ha! You missed me. So you think you can outsmart old comeback kiss kill ya, huh? Uh. No. Well, I wasn't a linebacker for the United States Marines three years in a row for nothing. First and ten, do it again. Hey, Sharina. Sorry, Gug, but the only squealer I talk to is Pig. But I have something I want to tell you. Let me guess. It's against regulation to read in the park on Friday afternoon between the hours of four and five o'clock? No. I just wanted to say I'm sorry for getting so carried away. I should have let you explain why you were breaking into the teacher's lounge. It's a little late for that now. If I have to go to Saturday school, I might as well call the whole party off. You won't have to. 
because I'll be in Saturday school all by myself. What do you mean, all by yourself? When Miss Kiskilia reads that report, we'll all be stuck in detention. She's not gonna read it. Huh? Cool! I'm glad to see the old Gug back. How'd you get it out from under old watchdog Kiskilia's nose? Let's just say I swiped it while she was tied up. Ow! Mm -hmm. I've gotta go. There's still enough time to finish planning the party. See you tomorrow night. Wasn't that a wonderfully romantic evening, Larry? Mmm, it sure was, Patsy. A gourmet dinner and dancing under the stars. <sighs> oh, it was magical. Larry, look! Mama, Dad, you're home early, er, than I expected. We can see that. What's going on in there, Sharina? I thought we were all in agreement. No parties. I'm very disappointed in you, young lady. You've broken one of our family rules. And if you think we're not gonna ground you, you're in for a big... Surprise! Happy anniversary! Oh, Larry, it looks like Sharina had a good reason for breaking this rule. Gosh, Serena, you sure planned a swell anniversary party for your parents. You call this a party? A bunch of boring adults standing around talking? To tell you the truth, I really planned two parties. The cool party's upstairs in my room. Yeah, you too, Mr. Sergeant-at-Arms. Serena, you totally rule. Come on, Bruce, can I? No. Oh, come on, it's the last Halloween of the century. It can be a costume party, you know, like witches, werewolves, bugs and beasties, and scary monsters, super creeps. Everybody will come. I'm not dressing up. Yeah, right. Get ready. You're invited to the ultimate Halloween party of the century. Pick and cheese. It's the Haunted House Halloween Bash at Wayne Manor. Next weekend on Kids WB. And no Pokemon in the Batcave. Not even Jigglypuff? Now it's time to end transmission, but we made a big decision. We 